Hello, everyone. We're back. This campaign isn't dead, thank God. I'm just shit at scheduling. Alright. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Lost Tales of Ordaith. I am your DM, Redbeast13, and I am joined by my wonderful players, uh, in no particular order, playing the Master Swordsman himself. We have the Hawker Bridge playing Damon Laird. Hey, we're back. I forgot what my name was. We're sort of like, oh, he's Damon Albarn. No, he's not. Damon Albarn Jones the Third. Thank you very much. Yes. Up next, we have the Master of Magic himself, uh, Kazel John, played by Walkman Exe. I'm a wizard, Harry. Indeed, you are. Up next, we have the Monk Boy Extraordinaire with the red skin. Zorus Asphira, played by Josh Kaposh. Hello! Up next, we have the Master of Secrets and Mystery, Private Eye Extraordinaire, Aki Yokotska, played by Risky Red. Hello! And last, but certainly not least, we have the Thief King himself, Storm's Age 13, playing Roland Ashkeeper. I still don't know your dice. Oh no. Oh, it's Roland Rift now on the screen. Never mind. Roland that one. Roland that one, yes. Because he's rolling that dice. Huh? Yeah, that's honestly why I chose the name Roland. Oh, I hate you. Disadvantage. No. So, it's been a bit. So. Uh, the twins have been moving, and I completely fucked up scheduling on what should have been our next session, so it's been a bit, so I'm going to have the recap on this one. Thank you. So, when last our tale was told, the party had ventured into a demiplane that was ruled and created by Carvanon to rescue hostages that were being used to fuel Huacan Krieg's immortality. For whenever they would die, a sacrifice would die in their place, a totem. The party had successfully infiltrated using the gift they had procured that once worked for Whitaker, and found that the plane was inhabited by mind flayers and an elder brain. Through a series of successful stealth rolls and deception checks, the party was able to get their way through the mind flares, through the prisoners, and fucking nuke the pl the demi plane into oblivion. Uh, but that wasn't before they discovered notes left behind by Corvanon, revealing that he and as well as Hark and Krieg have made their way to the prison dimension Corsary. The uh, dimension that holds. Uh, one of the spawn of Rovagog, uh, Chemosis, the monarch, the monarch form. Hidden deep on the, uh, in the discarded grove. The party has decided that they have to follow suit into Karsri to stop him. And with him having a head start, the party needs every advantage they can get. Uh, I believe Roland had reached out to his god, Mask, to procure ways of getting them out of Corsary uh, through thief magic. Uh, but And Kaz was working with his students to procure magic items to help the party in their really uh, gruesome dungeon crawl that's about to happen. So with that, we pick up. Alrighty, guys. Oh, we're having a good old-fashioned dungeon crawl, gang. Yeah, a dungeon crawl, except it's an entire dimension. A dimension crawl, gang. Let's go to the quantum verse. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie yet. I oh yeah, just came out. Yeah, it. it was fun. But yeah, I, yeah. that's sort of the con the consensus I'm consensus I'm hearing that it's mostly just fun. Yeah. Right, so 
Is there anything you guys want to do uh, in preparation for uh, before you kind of get yourself thrown in jail? I want to mail a, ca- a file and a cake to myself. All right. Present. But separately. That can be done. Uh, I think I handled all of my prep that I wanted to do um, ahead of time, but I'll just say that, like, uh, anything that wasn't handled, um, I'll be like, oh, let me... Yeah, because I handled... The, I, th- I got the items that we need, um, so... Yeah, do, uh, I told you how many of each you have, right? Uh, I think you sent it to me, but I... Oh, no, I think it was in a verbal conversation, so I don't think I had it written down. Yes, I forgot. Uh, I'm going to say it was... Let me uh, roll for this. Excuse me, Plate. You are no longer useful to me. You have... You're out of pizza. You have failed the vibe check, Plate. Not the vibe. Okay. So, you have four amulets of Death Ward. Cool deal. And nine... We've fight coins. Okay, gonna go ahead and put that here. That way we've got it in our chat, guys. Oh, you have a collusion chat, I see. No, it's just I just literally put it in the muted chat. Oh, but we muted. also do have a collusion chat. Oh, I didn't. Uh, oh, I haven't it used is. it in like I think two years. No, I post it all the time. I haven't, I haven't hit you guys with anything dangerous enough that you need to do it in secret. No, we've had a collusion chat. All right. So oh, I think I think that strategy isn't really this party's thing. I think we just kind of go in and all of our strategy is fuck shit up. My strategy oh, is one word: survive. My strategy is pretty much improvise in the moment. Oh. Da- Damon is just the final mission from Halo Reach. <laughs> New objective: <laughs> lone, survive. Just Damon. Lone wolf. Sta- Damon stands atop a pillar, the sunset, kissing his face as he has this steely, steely look, knowing that he is the last man standing. That's how this campaign's going to end. I'm pretty sure that I just summarized his backstory. <laughs> That'll be his backstory for campaign two. Ah. So, uh, Roland wants to see if he can get any info from Sasha since, you know, she's like a bad bitch with the council who knows a bunch of stuff about. She isn't. She, she is in charge of the council, so that qualifies as a bad bitch with the council. I mean, she's a blood hunter. No, that's Bianca. Oh, Bianca, fucking hell! <laughs> Have Have you not been they paying? Dumb. <laughs> Clearly, you haven't been been paying attention. Sasha's I the... got my notes mixed up. Yeah, let, reminder. Do, 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 do. This one, Sasha. The elf. Thank you. I go talk to that one. What's up, bitch? Hey, do you uh, know anything <laughs> about, uh... uh you, <laughs> you walk into her office and explain the whole thing about, like, hey, we're going to call Siri, and her first reaction is like, don't. Why? Why in the, why in all of nine so, hells would you go there? A funny thing about why, and I explain everything to her in a cutscene. Ah, yes. You cast, a non-skippable cutscene. You yes. cast fifth level cutscene. Uh, halfway through your explanation, her head's in her hands. So, after we destroy the demi plane. We uh, realize maybe we should go stop him. I'm just going to ignore the fact that I think you broke three laws of magic in that act, but we're just going to ignore that. I mean, I've explained at this point I'm the Thief King, haven't I? I, mm, Academia. Uh, But if you're going to cost three, there are multiple things you should be concerned about. Uh, These are pamphlets. Better, there's a handout that I, that I, the DM, can give you. Oh, thank you for this pamphlets in character. Do you have copies so I can give it to my fellows? I'm not gonna read all that. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dick. 
That's a lot of words. Too bad I ain't reading them. This Ask if there's blue. an audiobook version. I see. Little... <laughs> do, you, do, you have a, do you have a sending scroll version? Of the... She hands yeah, you a, a little... stone. Here, this is my Rosetta stone. This should... <laughs> okay, but you have like an audio version written, read aloud by John Hurt. Uh, he has like a very good speaking voice, you know? He no. old John Hurt. <laughs> no, but we do have Michael Fassbender. Okay. Can we get like can we get like fantasy John Noble instead? <laughs> uh, but she does break it down for you that uh, one safe havens. Be very cautious where you decide to stop and take rests. Whenever you do, don't rely on like one person stands watch. Have at least two. Cautious is not a place you want to let your guard down. Two are guides. If you're going down to the sixth level, which she implies, the discarded grove is where the spawn is hidden, and it lies on the sixth level of Corsary. It's believed to be potentially the deepest level, but we don't know for sure. No one's vent ventured down there to really confirm that. And if they did, they wouldn't survive for long. Uh, if you're going down that far, you're going to need a guide. None are better than the Dezins themselves. The best motivation for them would uh, to work with you is to offer them freedom. That is, if they even want it. Some have been there so long that they've been driven mad and now believe they run the asylum, as it were. Fun. Uh, yeah. The Those who have been there longest would probably be the least trustworthy, but the most experienced. And those who have been there... Uh, the shortest would be more trustworthy, but less experienced. Less experienced, yeah. And that's because of the third uh, uh, warning, treachery. Uh, be cautious who you, when dealing with the denizens, like how the Shadowfell has the ability to draw out your negativity. Those who have been in Corsary the longest are compelled to not trust others and, be, and forced to backstab one another. If you get a guide, keep an eye on them, and never let them get too far ahead of you or lag too far behind. This corruption affects everyone at different rates, but it usually takes a few days to to begin the first sign. End of it. If anyone looks like they've lost hope, that's the beginning signs that they've going, that they will begin their uh, the plane's influence. Also, say the fuck out of the river Styx. The river what now? The river Styx. It is a river that flows between uh, many of the plains. I believe you can uh, get a boat to Tard to the plain of Tartarus from there. Uh, it is probably the most sought-out method of escape from the plain, but the ferryman charges 50,000 gold in order to take people across. And if you don't pay that much he just laughs as he just kind of goes on by many oh, yeah and don't go in the river itself it has a f effect similar to feeble mind if you try to swim in it you lose your short term memory and forget how to do basically anything uh, in who has no idea what feeble mind is is going to uh, that sounds nasty you base you basically lose the ability to cast spells. You you become an idiot, like right. how Spit was before he wore the headband. Yeah, I'll make sure we stay here from there. Uh, the inhabitants, uh, Cosby is home to many who have broken the laws from across the plains, all serving painful sentences as punishment for their evil. Many of the Hitlers of history or could potentially be the find themselves there. No. Yeah. You don't have to worry about just the living there. It's also a place that the dead go to. If you the see the dead. Yeah. Uh, usually, uh, when a person moves on to the next life, their soul goes to a plane that it associates with their with who they were in life. They could go to a plane that associates with good or evil or the nine hells that they made a deal. If that's not... Sometimes Cosby gets first pick, depending on 
the deeds you committed in life. If I see Dove down there, I'm killing the bastard again. That's possible. Uh, but just remember, if you see extra player creatures there, always proceed with caution. You wouldn't take a devil's deal on the material plane or the nine hells. Cost is no different. Oh, and bring cloaks. Bring lots of heavy cloaks. Just. Oh, this is gonna suck, isn't it? Then, the only thing worse than the people who live who live in Cosby is the environment itself. There's you got plants that secrete acid, wind that will tear the bone, the skin from your bones. It's just get a lot of heavy cloaks. They don't need to I be was kind magical. Of, I was kind of assuming this would be like a thing that we always do. Go in, it would be like a day or two and we out It's not like that. Probably not. Oh boy. Golden goes and gets more cloaks. Oh, I'm not done talking to you. There's still more oh, warnings. <laughs> what are you talking about? He flips the pamphlet over. Oh my god, there's more. Yeah. It uh, falls out. If you have the ability to fly, use it cautiously because Corsi has multiple planets and the wind can either crash you into a mountain because the wind just decides it's feeling funny or it can throw you to another planet. Corsi is known as the Sixfold Realm. It, you know those uh, Rivikian Rivik nesting dolls? How you can put a doll instead of a doll? Yes, I, I think I do. That's, I, I think those are quite popular in Halty too. Yes, very popular in, in Halty. Uh, that's how the plane is structured. There are six known layers. And to get to the next layer, you have to go to the deepest section of the layer you're on. And once you cross that threshold, you will find yourself at the highest peak in the next layer. And you just rinse and repeat. Thankfully, each level gets significantly smaller as, this, as you go down the sequence. Ah oh, man, it's a little dungeon crawl, isn't it? Oh yeah. I, uh, ooh, I know Damon has the spell banishment. Yeah. He won't be able to rely on that spell. Any attempts to cast banishment or plane shift or anything that would sequester yourself or an enemy on a, into another plane would automatically fail. Cause we wants to keep its prisoners. Hmm. Uh, the next two ones are going to be annoying. As I was saying, every, at every bullet point, uh, Roland just keeps saying, fun, fun, fun. As things sound worse and worse and worse. Yes. Next is healing. You won't be able to heal with a rest. Oh, boy. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. As a matter of fact, the only way to heal would be through spells or potions... And even then, you may only heal half as effectively. Hmm. Likewise, it could be said to exhaustion. It wouldn't. You would have to find shrines of the wardens. They are safe havens, like outposts that you could uh, donate gold to in order to purify yourself of any afflictions that are affecting you. Just watch out. Because that payment has to be made in gold, there's a lot of criminals uh, who try and use that as a... who essentially treat that territory as highwaymen trying to uh, rob gold from people so they can save up for the ferrymen. There's one of these uh, outposts on every level that we know of. Next is Revival. It is possible to revive the dead in Corsary, but Resurrection Magic pulls from a god, and many gods cannot influence Corsary, and those who... Are, and there are some gods that are actually imprisoned on Corsary. And if you die, you can't come back, but with each death, the 
plane holds a, hold on to you a bit stronger. It becomes more challenging for you to escape. There are probably a few people in Corsary who have just been continuously dying and keep popping back up with no way of escaping. Oh boy. I hope that was helpful. Thank you for everything. If we don't come back, I assume you're not sending a rescue party. I mean... Fair enough. And I go, like, Roland well, spends a good, like, solid 30 minutes trying to find if there's a potion that cures exhaustion. Um... Like, in the meta, I don't think there is, but... I don't think Roland's so. Just... Yeah. Still, Roland would give it a shot. Alright, we spent about 20 minutes on that, and doesn't exactly pan out in your favor. Oh boy. Well, oh boy. So, anything else you guys want to do before you leave? Um, just to clarify something I had in my notes. So, we initially were planning to take, I had my notes that we were going to take Spit and Claire with us. I know you're planning on taking uh, on you took Claire to the to the demi plane. Yeah. Uh, because because Spit said he wanted to go specifically, didn't he? He did yeah, say Spitz. he wanted to go with with you guys to the demi to Corsary because he also has nothing but potions in his inventory. Yeah. Do we want to bring Claire? Like not. Just I'm, like, I'm, I'm not just gonna say, I was just gonna probably try and talk her and uh, Spit out of going. Just be like, eh. Once we hear all this stuff from Roland. Yeah. And after that, it only gets worse. You yeah. know, maybe I should stay on this side. Make sure that everything goes well. You know, protect the keep and all that. Is that Spit or Claire? That was Claire. Ah, Claire. Um. Yeah, brave and fortuitous as always. Thanks. <laughs> I mean, it's no secret that you guys... Basically, how class me and the platinum chain. We need someone to tell our story. <laughs> also, to clarify, um, some answer or like, so if someone seems downtrodden and depressed or as if they don't have energy, they are falling on a carcery spell. Is that literally just cause and Damon's <laughs> normal state of being? Now we're fine. <laughs> yeah, uh, you guys. You guys are immune. Oh yeah, that's your natural state. Cosby could be like, oh yes, so I've affected these two. Uh, what the fuck? You guys okay? Doing loans, man. Cosby sits down and offers us a, a cup of coffee. All right, want to talk about it? <laughs> hey, you know it. It could be worse. We literally could be in Cosby. Oh wait, oh, shit. Ah oh, fuck. Listen, prison dimension, there's nothing you can do to me that student scheduling hasn't done already. Damn. <laughs> Again, this is us right now. <laughs> Whenever we go in. I just naturally have a negative personality. Us versus Kaz and Damon versus Carcery. <laughs> Red just like, I guess, I guess y'all have advantage on wisdom saves? <laughs> I, I don't know how to deal with it. <laughs> Neither does Corsary. <laughs> Corsary's never seen someone like David. Roland's just looking at us like, damn, fuck me for having self confidence. <laughs> that was your first mistake. I also realized we have not played this game since I got Pokemon Scarlet. There's a character in there that was basically my original intention for David. Oh shit. Larry the Salary Man. So, how do we, uh, get, uh, Kosui? Yeah, that's a very good question. Kaz, is that something you can do, or do we have to commit a crime? Yeah, I sent, I sent a guy there, so... Fair enough. Granted, I don't know if, by sending him there, I sent him to, like, the deepest pits, or, like, level one. So... Um, uh, since it's not a place I've been to before, dealer's choice on where we end up. 
Oh yes, about that. Um, what didn't? I didn't. Someone on our party mention uh, potentially bringing him back for some reason. I think that was Zorus. Why? I, I just. I he just, might make it for a good guide. Oh, oh, the seat maybe. I just. I feel weird about sending like somebody over to like. The worst place of all time. Yeah, <laughs> like, I mean, I he was, he was I, 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 I think I think I, I, everyone's just like, oh, this is bad. Cause just pulls out his tax records. <laughs> I, I, I just have my nose to Zor's was like, uh, maybe we should bring that guy back because that's kind of <laughs> fucked. Well, I, I pull out his tax tax reports. I'm like, let's get, look at all the money he was embezzling from the school. Look at all the hard earned things that the students could have had that he robbed them of. Well, I'm just how he works. <laughs> Clearly, you're not a, a familiar with higher education, there, Kaz. Morning takes a look at, at the numbers. What the fuck is that? Why it was so easy for me to break in? Oh yeah, <laughs> like I, I didn't realize it at first, but like now that I actually have a look at our security budget, this was just bad. Like, not to not to be that guy, but like we're the we 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 are the premier school of magic on the continent. A guy with a knife could walk in and murder everyone. I mean, I, I thought me only seeing the gold was a flex, but fuck, man. This is just like I know I I had to fix all the wards myself. Oh man, that must take forever, dude. It took a month and a half. <laughs> I'm just picturing like Scott Pilgrim. Do you know how long it took to make the list of evil exes? <laughs> like 10 minutes! <laughs> Didn't you read my email explaining the situation? <laughs> okay, that's that. Alright, so if, 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 if. Punch him in the face. So, based on um, Kaz's uh, complaints here, if, uh, if Roland or, or I die, we can be replaced with, let me check my notes, Guy with Blade. Got it. At least give, at least give King of Thieves here a little bit of credit, cause I, I'm not saying he isn't the King of Thieves. I'm just saying that, like, he's saying any run the mill asshole could, could have, in theory, done harm to a school. That's why we need mm. strong security mm. systems in our schools. <laughs> All right, there. Slow down, there, guy with knife. <laughs> Puts down the, his knife. the only thing that has ever stopped a bad guy with a knife is a good guy with a knife. And Fireball. Yes, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> fireball hasn't kept me down yet. Oh god, I'm gonna die from Fireball this mission, aren't I? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> you've fallen <laughs> from my trap. My I mean, Fireball I puzzle. I haven't cast Fireball in, like, forever. In the distance we can drive a gun. Yes, but now it is my turn to cast Fireball. Wait, do we know how to get to Corsary, or just... I mean, one of you is related to a dude who actively f tried to go to Corsary. That is right, cause is dead. I mean, like I said, me sending someone there, dealer's choice, but, like, my dad's been there. Yeah, so maybe he can get us closer to the exits. At least closer to where we need to be. They maybe had some context there as well. Oh. Alright. Uh so you track down Kaz's dad? I mean it's not hard. I I literally <laughs> own his place of employment. Fair enough. Uh so you <laughs> so you hit up your dad so and his so proud. His first response is, Why the fuck are you going to call Sui? Listen, you're my father and I love you, but you're on my payroll. That means I don't have to answer your questions. Okay, then we ask it like this. Son, can you please tell me why you're going to Corsory? Of course, Father. Uh, so it turns out that Carvanon and uh, Harag and Krieg are going to try and break out a spawn from the prison dimension. Oh, fuck. Um, and are probably going to use it to try and kick start the siege. Um, First thing you're going to want are cloaks. I cannot stress that enough. Golan starts handing out the cloaks. I, I'm good. I've got a jacket. Dub, trust me, double up. Wait, I'm putting a cloak on top of my cloak on top of my cloak. See, he's got the right idea. Yeah. There's a whole economy in Cos where you just based around cloaks. Wow. Uh, mm. Because on Authoris, the first level of Corsary, uh plants secrete acid that burn through 
uh, metal armor, so people use cloaks as something to kind of protect their more important equipment. I uh, basically just to neutralize the acid so I can, I can shuck it and Does it have to be any cloak, or...? I mean, magical cloaks have a better chance, but they can potentially damage magic, magical equipment with prolonged exposure. Oh, okay, I, I was just double checking because I was like, if the acid can eat through metal, what what kind of fabric do we need to be bringing into the prison dimension to to keep our shit together? It's just to make sure that it doesn't touch the the armor first, so that way you could quickly basically it's something to to take the hit for the, for your important equipment. Got it. Um. I'll um, just, I guess, grab a bag of holding and just fill it with cloaks. I, I mean, we have so much money. Oh yeah. I have two questions for Cause and Cause Father. Yes, I am Cause Father. Ah, uh, yes, you are Cause Father. Yes, Cause Father, and Cause. Say one of us is wearing a cloak of protection. Is cloak of protection going to get uh, melted as well? Keep the cloak of protection at your lowest layer. Yes. Uh, d- uh, other do, question. Do that. Go ahead. The spell absorb elements. Will that have any effect on the plants that spit acid? Potentially. Uh, uh, yeah, that, that, will. But that, 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 no, that, that will work. We When I traveled to Corsair, I had a druid with us, and he was able to use that to great effect while we were on the first level of this. Uh, what? Oh, I thought I heard something. Uh, but that should, yeah. It's not, okay. it's not like it's, it's just really strong acid. So it's not like it's magical. The, it's not anti-magic, it, yeah, it, it's not it, anti-magic acid. Well, what I was going to say is that absorb elements is going to definitely like help take the, edge off of like being hit with acid but it's not going to stop it from eating through your clothes i know i figured that i'm just thinking like you know worst case scenario one of us steps in a pool of acid um goo uh only only two of you can fly so oh yeah be careful with flying be selective with that oh and Uh, if you hear by, by the way if you hear like the sound of bells ignore it I mean, typically, I do that anyway. Uh, he's late for school all the time. So you know when the bells from Notre Dame? No, no, just, there's the, particularly on the first level, there's some, uh, uh, I'm sorry, what else do you need? Uh. Do you have any in the, uh, area? Any what? Contacts. <laughs> that could be, like, Potentially trust. Well, trust is a is a broad term, I guess, for carcery. Trustworthy as possible for carcery. I would say your best bet to find someone like that would be the Bastion of Last Hope. It's. I mean, do you have any people in mind? None that I would personally recommend. Great. Uh, I. I basically went there blind with a large scouting party, and let's see, let me bring up some notes. Six went down, only six returned. Uh, you could potentially find other scholars there, though there's a small click in the academia that uh, believe that Corsary is mappable and that and they're cocky enough to actually uh, attempt to teleport themselves there. Initially I was working with a green dragonborn to try and get me there before he went missing. I see. Uh, v- Vaughn, you remember the story of how you got your demiplane was from a dream- green dragonborn wizard or a changing that was uh, impersonating him, yeah. <clears throat> it's where cards first found the book about <clears throat> corsary exploration. Hmm. Uh, I have a wild question, Dad. You don't happen to have like a map or something? 
of the first level I do, that's the we were able to trot that one out fairly decently. But everything onwards just we were not as prepared as we should have been. I was young and impatient. I wanted to I just wanted to get in there and start looking. Uh, another question. Yes. Um what about uh magic like far step, missy step, things like that? How will like that be or tell even telekinesis? <laughs> Uh, Anything we need to worry about about trying to you know pop around? That I can actually answer. I I did have experience using Misty Step on uh, Corsary. As long as your destination is the same plane, it appears it still works. Ah, uh, great. Well, Misty Step's like one of my signature spells. I yeah. just want to mine as well, and I was again we don't want to have oh we just burned it uh spell slide I mean A K energy trying to you know. Yeah. Anything anything like banishment or plane shift, uh, unless you've taken the proper precautions to get yourself out, would fail. I found that out the hard way when, when fighting a titan. Ah, so I shouldn't rely on banishment then. Yeah, banishment would unfortunately not be viable here. I'll likely prepare something else then, just be safe. Good call. Alright, so... I, oh, and if you want, I can actually send you there myself. You all seem capable and strong, so... Fun thing about Corsary is you normally can't uh, escape un until the creature that banished you there... Until you grow stronger than the creature that banished you there. But you all seem more competent than me, so... I feel as though you guys are all going to meet that criteria. You guess. Uh, I can, yeah, I can probably get you close to the Bastion of Last Hope, actually. That'd be great. Unfortunately, that's all I can do. All incoming uh, visitors automatically are sent to the, to the first layer. I have no control over that. Otherwise, I'd try to get you to at least the second or third layer. All right. So is it just the five of you going? Yeah, do we agree on if Spitz coming or no? Um, Spitz, ready to go with a backpack full of healing potions if you want them. Well, I mean, I love the healing potions. <laughs> um, I brought... Just, just takes the backpack. Thanks, Spit. We appreciate it. I o <laughs> I'm, I've also prepared sandwiches. Real... Oh, you're a saint, lad. Uh, real quick question, though, on a... It doesn't mean out of character, I can't remember. I mentioned doing some sort of... See if we could do something like... Uh, like sorcery stones or anything. We, didn't ever, we never got around to doing those in this game, did we? Uh, no, that's not... Do uh, you mean like how Trapit has? Yeah. No, I, that's not something that I'm... Uh, that no, that's, I that's, fine, that's fine, that's fine. I'll just double check and make sure. No worries, man. I, like, I, had, I can't remember if we had said yay or nay on that one. No worries. Uh, just nah, me... I'm just... Looking at my very, very tiny number of spell slots I have. <laughs> the arcane trickster feels your pain. But don't worry, dude. You you still have uh, your power. Uh, waves of power, which... Let, let me double check your sheet, because I believe... I yeah, those things like cantrip scale, I think, right? I still yeah. have cantrips. Oh, cool. Oh, you have cantrips, too? Yeah. Yeah, I got cantrips. Oh, damn. I, I get less spell slots than like a paladin would, but I get cantrips as a trade-off. No, I think I give you the same as the paladin and still give you cantrips just because... Oh, that's right. I forgot, forgot we changed it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think... Like yeah, you're, you're, at, you're at level 18, so you have like max level on your wave of powers. Yeah. Right, uh, I'll be right back here going to the bathroom right fast. Okay. Okay, so when he gets back, we stab him. Take his dice. Yes. Then we eat the dice. <laughs> Oop, ow, yeah, sure. It, it is a forbidden candy, so now it's, you know. This is actually some like candy. Not actually edible. Oh, yeah, the sugar dice? I love those. <laughs> yeah. 
I'm just like window shopping right now through Lauren's fourth level spells. <laughs> yeah, I'm just removing like stuff like banishment. Like, um, I guess I'm taking Storm Spear. Storm Spear? What do you mean Sphere? Yeah, it says Sphere. No, oh, I thought you said Storm Spear. I was like, that sounds like a super. Yeah, no, I'm, I've been really tired yeah. lately, so my like old speech impediments kind of coming back a little bit. I feel your pain. Yeah. yeah. I like, customers have been giving me shit about night. it for, like, last two weeks. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even uh, have my yeah. fourth levels yet. I'm just window shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't get those to level 19. Uh, yuck. I hope one D&D fixes that. If Wizards of the Coast survives that long. Yeah, they fixed the OGL nonsense. For now. For now, yeah. Until they think they can get away with it without people noticing. Good news, everyone. I found more pizza stuck between my teeth, so I got to eat it again. Oh. I've never oh, felt more man. like a cobalt in my life. Oh. <laughs> Matt. Are you okay, Josh? That sounded like you were, like, audibly disturbed. <laughs> I, think it, I, think actually, I think Josh took some psychic oh. damage there. It sounded like he I... a flashback. Flashback. Not player. at all where I thought that was going, and it, it did something bad to me. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows, everyone? I am a kobold. <laughs> <laughs> I really need to start animating soon. <laughs> Sorry, you got the one that cooks the kobold I... stuff. Anyway. No worries. <laughs> I'm ready whenever you need I... me. <laughs> I, like my... I like Spit. I like our buddy. I think we should take him. Yeet. I'm also on the Bring Spit team. Uh, sandwiches. As, as a reminder, because it's been a while since you guys have played up with him, he is now a level 15 fighter. Oh, see? Yeah. Also, it might be good to have someone on the front lines with you, Damon, just because mm -hmm. I know uh, Zorus, is, he can like, fly between long range and melee. Cars and Zorus are pretty much Cars and Aki are range, and Roland is primarily long range with the bow. The only reason I thought about potentially not telling Claire to stay home was because Paladin's just extra healing, but Spitz got potions? A I just don't want Spitz to die. Yeah, you'll be fine. I am good. This is our mission. Spitz Spit has more HP than Roland, even with the level disparity. I mean, yeah, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a rolling problem. <laughs> <laughs> also true. All right, Spit. As long as you're sure, don't want to, you know, as such a valued member of our organization to, you know. No, I agree. That's why I'm coming to protect you. Oh. <laughs> well, one of us isn't coming back now. The flag's been set. <laughs> Both of you, you don't have a uh, high school other. sweetheart you're coming back to marry, do you? Well, as a matter of fact, during the time skip, I've, I reconnected with this lovely orc woman. You know, guys, I really can't wait to find her to, after this mission, go see my daughter. <laughs> How about we all just draw draw Chekhov's ire while we're at it? <laughs> hey, it's a good thing I have literally no one who cares if I come back. So I'll definitely come back. Like, I'll remember you all fondly. How dare I gotta use the bathroom, but you guys continue on without me. Okay. I get about me belly being costly, goddammit. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> so Cos's father begins to cast a spell. Is there anything you guys wanna do uh last chance to get off the ride? Um Go deeper. <laughs> Alright. Uh one thing I was gonna sorry. Before we yeah. leave, it just kind of tell. Um, oh god, my brain just died. Um, uh, Watermaster girl, Tazrin. Yeah, tell Tazrin. Um, if I don't come back, don't kill Claire and try and take over the world. She kind of just punches you in the arm really hard, and then just goes, "Fucking come back." All right. Well, that, that's a uh, yeah, good incentive as any. Yeah, you better. Right, but seriously, don't don't try and take over the world, Oregon. Fine. 
I had a girl. I promise. <laughs> she seems very unhappy about agreeing to that. All right. <laughs> How fucking funny! What if that was the thing that prevented it from taking over the world? Like, when you guys come back, like, what a successful mission from Kosui. Oh no! Why is everything on fire? What has happened here? <laughs> what happened? Uh, she just single-handedly just destroys the the um, guy we're trying to kill. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just joking that she took over the world while you guys were, were away. I knew it. Yeah, uh, as well. You know, she actually might try and kill Claire and other people as threats. Uh, don't kill anybody while we're gone or if we don't come back. And she was like, fine. <laughs> uh, all right, so, Kaz, your father begins to cast a spell. And... Teleporting in, you all feel as though you are hitting a wall. Normally, teleportation is instantaneous, but here you feel as though it's taking longer. You feel as though you are being smothered, trapped in a shrinking space, until you finally feel yourselves break through that arcane barrier. And you arrive, slightly scattered, uh, in a space lit warmly by a red glow. It feels like a hot summer day, as the air is humid and the ground feels soft and wet beneath you. You look around and find yourselves in this marshy bog. The smell is intense and off-putting. You look up, and in the red sky, the red sky is filled with large planets. They look as though they're so close that you could fly to them. You can also see what appears to be the occasional hot air balloon in the sky? Though the biggest thing you notice, you can all feel this sense of paranoia, as if you're being watched. Can I have a perception check? Go ahead. Same Z. Anyone who wants yep, to can. Same. Ooh, nice. Uh, Damon, I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Damon's just gonna look at the planets up above. He feels that urge to fly, and he's just gonna reach over and hold Zor's shoulder and kind of press him against the ground a little bit. Oh my God! Spit has new art. Oh yeah. Huh, I'm not seeing who just rolled. Thirty-one. Oh, thirty-one. You look yeah. around and Sorry. you don't see anything. Like nothing that <sighs> clues you in and why you and why you feel as though you're being watched at least. Um. Can I roll, like, an Arcana to see if, like, anyone's observing us directly or anything like that? Sure. Like, if, like, through, like, scrying or anything like that? Yeah, scrying, or if we, like, maybe potentially could have triggered some sort of, like, warning spell. By all means. Uh, that is a... 27. 27. I rely simply on my passive wisdom. Fair enough. I'm terrified. To take in. Uh, Damon. You are confident that there's not any, like, arcane surveillance happening. Though with the 27, there is this magical theory that certain planes can have enforce uh, mindsets. This paranoia could be just a byproduct of just being in carcery. Thankfully, it's only just like this back of your mind uh, thing of like, hey, like this just feels weird. We just feel uncomfortable. Yeah, it's you're feeling uncomfortable. It's not, it, it's not mechanically affecting you guys. Gotcha. So, Damon, you would kind of come to the conclusion. It's like this is probably nothing. It's just frustrating to kind of have this in the back of your head. You right. know. Before I met you guys, I probably would have freaked the fuck out when this happened. But now, I'm just kind of like, eh. It's normal. <laughs> I mean, given everything else we've encountered at this point, a little paranoia is child's play. Guys, it's basically my natural state of being. Guys. There's always someone out there trying to get you. Welcome to Orthrus, the first level of Corsary, also known as the Titan's home. Hooray! Okay. Uh, Which... Bye. Bye. Let's uh, let's get on trucking to the nearest 
bastion of hope. Well, you well, all have hope, so you you can go to the last hope. Uh, as yeah. you look around, yeah, where's, where's civilization? Uh, as you look around in the distance, you see maybe a mile or so out what looks to be a small outpost built on stilts and platforms over over a swamp. Tall buildings made of black stone, and the entrance is built like a giant demonic toad's face. Uh, and a you see this large sign. Uh, Bastion of Last Hope. I just post it up in the street as if it's like Vegas that way. You know, I, I'm wondering if they have <laughs> steamboat casinos and gumbo. Okay, everyone here just speaks a Cajun accent. <laughs> I, you know what, Aki, I hope so. <laughs> vaguely French. I say welcome to y'all too, did the Kasarin. I don't have a map for the town itself, but uh, I assume you make your way there. Yes, please. Absolutely. <laughs> I can't I, think it's this easy. Oland has like his cloak covering his arms, and he just has like a hand ready to reach for a dagger just in case, knowing that they're in prison right now. You probably aren't the only one. Yeah, Ronan just... If, if Ronan can't see anyone's hands, he's assuming they have a weapon. And, uh, actually, I'm also going to be putting my mask on. Alrighty. I don't know if the name King of Thieves or... The name Mask has any power in this plane, but. Safe and sorry. Yeah. Cool. Using his name might be able to, like. Hey, if you help us, you'll be helping Mask. Mask will help you escape. Do some shit like that. Sure thing. I am cheating. Oh my god, the ring. Do, do, do. Do, do. Shit, you're right. Oh well, but but it's gothic and terrifying. What is? I I, I just put a new, I just kind of cheat and put up a new map. Oh, pull back up. It looks like Halo, but gothic, which I oh, love gotcha, about. Gotcha. We 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 walk in and we just start hearing, bum bum, bum bum, <laughs> like the thing music. <laughs> Oh, I was trying to remember what the fucking Halo music sounded like, but it just kind of. Uh, I need a weapon. <laughs> what a we made all I need a mosquito. There you go. As you enter the city, you see seedy looking characters walking all over the place. Most creatures you see are obscuring themselves with masks and hoods. Uh, I'm. The occupation, the occupants seem to be a mixture of monstrosity, fiends, demons, and humanoids. Uh, for a place that is called the Bastion of Last Hope, there seems to still be a level of order happening in the city. Though, many people are walking around like Roland with their hands obscured. Uh, you do see one person, one cloaked figure, in an alleyway attempting to get your attention. Uh, Roland taps in the account, friend or foe. Uh, you hear him tap back. You buy it? I'm sorry, what? Uh, he kind of steps out of the alley and he's like, Y'all got some distinguishing faces if I... May I say, and he opens his jacket. Can I interest any of you in buying a new nose? And you see uh, inside his jacket are just uh, the noses of different races. You know, uh, you know, I kind of miss looking like a tiefling. I you do. know, no, <laughs> I, I didn't think Dove would be the height of. Body, he 
mutilation, but well, here we are. As you say that, you do get a good look at this individual, and upon a closer inspection, uh, he has a mismatch of features. He has what appears to be the left horn of a tiefling, the right half of, a, of his face is, is green like a half-orc. The other half appears human, but he's got this splotchy beard made of three different colors. And as he speaks, you see that his teeth do not line up in size or type. Like, they're not made for his jaw. I want to say, I love this design. What the fuck? <laughs> Name's Stitch, uh, if I may, uh... Be of any service. Go ahead and let me know. We're looking for a way to the sixth level. Ho 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 ho! Information. I can uh, I can provide information for a fee. Uh, pause real quick. Roland, we're seriously not gonna ask for directions from the fucking nose guy. <laughs> Why not? He seems like he knows what's going on. But I'm. Uh... I, I'm not. I'm not going to trust him. I'm just looking for like any information that we get as much as we can just cross reference it. Hmm. We need to start somewhere. So we're starting right. with the nose guy? I, thank you! Thank you! <laughs> hey, come on, <laughs> voice of reason! <laughs> I, I mean, okay. Would you rather? Would you rather be an ear guy? I would rather it be someone who didn't just come out of a back alley and try and sell us noses. Do you know, you know the who we you can know ask? Cause, you've changed. Well. The old cause would have been very excited about getting body parts to potentially experiment upon. I don't think he would have. I know the old cause would have loved it if this guy had popped out with some halfling leaf. But you know what? He just came out of here and just gave us a bunch of noses. I do also have halfling leaf, actually. I will say. Love it. Oh, there you go. I bet he's got some pretty good shit in Carcery. You know. Hold, hold up. Go ahead. Well, I'll, I'll be the judge of that. Man, you got. You got uh, what you got? Oh, I got shit you ain't even heard of, man. These the shit down here in Cosby will fuck you up. I love this coming from like Southern to gangster. Listen, I, I'm listen, bad at accents. Listen, <laughs> stitch the nose guy. Try me. What have you ever tried, Devil's Kambanza? Northern or Southern? Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> I kind of saw the real shit. I see. I, I'm as real as it gets, man. All right, all right. I see, I see you. I see you. Uh, he pulls out this, like, small package. He goes, this kind of shit you can only find down here in Kossary. Have you tried Red Salvador? Can't say that I have. Mm, this shit sends you to different planets, my man. Literally. Figure you can't need him here. Figuratively, it gives you the high you will not come down from. For a while, at least. Yeah, I was about to say, that seems... Uh, thank you for the for a while, at least, because that seemed incredibly counterintuitive if it just smoke, detaches you from reality. Smoke this or, you know, kills you. Smoke this. That'd be very bad salesman, Chef. Well, smoke this, and you are preoccupied for the next uh, three days. Uh... Sounds good, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, how about this? Rather than pay you for information, I am willing to offer you a trade. Uh, I will trade you some halfling leaf or your halfling leaf and potentially some information. I will trade you my halfling leaf for your halfling leaf and I am willing to discount some information. Let me ask you something, Stitch. How long you been here? Oh, time's real funny here. I would have to wager... Uh, oh, about 200 years? Alright, then I got some shit you ain't never even seen. And I'll reach into my bag and pull from my Feywild collection. Oh, shit. And just be like, have you ever had flump milk? 
and I just pull out like this this like cloudy looking uh like pulsating white fucking like j like it's a jar full of like this little uh wisps of like pulsating white cloud uh that like occasionally condense into like what is very clearly a nug of weed and then like disperse into mist again make a persuasion check god so bad at these <laughs> and no, i can't for the help action i wasn't doing anything <laughs> you were just it's okay it's okay once it comes to the halfling leaf you kind of just have to, to oh yeah let they it want let it ride <laughs> I mean, I got a plus 10 of persuasion if I can help. Uh, Kaz uh, has been so the only one engaging so far, so unfortunately no one can provide a help action just yet. I understand. Yet. Okay. I was about to say, Spit, Spit did help me by saying well, we're not going to buy information from the nose guys, but uh, 17. <laughs> 17? It, 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 okay. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Okay. Keep in mind, I do have a plus zero. So. Ah, yes. <laughs> so that's three numbers away from the highest I could possibly roll. Uh, he kind of not takes it out of your hand, kind of holds up to the light, and kind of gives it once over. Okay. Okay. How about we trade and uh, 200 gold? Out of curiosity, back before you were in, were you an ally? Were you a worshipper of the God Mask? <laughs> Man, I've been here so long, I don't know what I was. Right. Also, he's literally a bunch of dudes. I just like <laughs> gesture to the fact that he's just a patchwork person. Well, any of the parts of you would be yeah, worshippers of mask. My specialty is with uh, forging new identities. You see, I'm in the business of making someone someone new. That sounds like some real Cyric shit. <laughs> just mm. eyes narrow. Hey, seems like some rather useful stuff to have in a place like this. Indeed, business is good. All right, how's this? One fifty. Roll a persuasion check. The second the whole uh, seer comparison came up, Poland did not want to give this man full full price. Well, two hundred is still discounted, but I'd say one fifty yeah. is a lot better. So that's automatically a 10. <laughs> What's the total? Uh, 25. <laughs> Fucking me. Reliable Expertise talent! Expertise and reliable talent! You know, it just hit me that I sent the rogue to Corsary. <laughs> I'm fucked. Uh, uh, you sent the rogue, a wizard, a monk, a warlock, and Damon uh, to Corsary. <laughs> And the demon lord Apollo himself. Oh, didn't question mark. Uh, the demon lord is the correct answer. The demon lord. <laughs> nice. You you sent you sent the five like most min maxed people to hell. I will be ruling this place eventually. Honestly, potentially, yeah. Uh, so you see him just kind of look you, give you a once over. You say a mask. Aye. Uh, he kind of tosses the Red Salvador to you, Kaz. I'd toss him the flow familiar. Like, it's it's just a seamless exchange. Yeah. Kind of gives you a nod, will not I? Making a few bells. I'll have you know I'm more than just his acolyte. What do you want to know? Is there anyone here who can guide us to the sixth level? And has anyone seen a man in an Etten come by here? Man and Etten. Hmm. Specifically, the Etten looks really fucking stupid. Hmm. The that. man is very nihilistic. He hold on. He kind of talks like our friend over here. I just gestured to Aki. I'm like, but um, everything that comes out of his mouth sounds like you know fucking scrambled eggs, my man. The Etten or the weirdo? The weirdo. The weirdo. Oh, okay. That nails it down. Uh, hmm, first of all... I'll just put it this way. Have you ever heard the phrase, outsane? <laughs> Can't say that I have, so if they've been... So if they're here in Kossary, then they haven't been to the Bastion. Uh, 
You know what? You may want to check out the noose. It's uh, an inn and tavern here in the in the Bastion of Last Hope. Uh, is that, and is that place we can find a guide? Uh, yeah, turns out there is a group of gnolls that have traveled from the fourth layer up he, up to the Bastion, so that's impressive on its own. Uh, so they could get us out of the fourth layer at least. Uh, uh, there's also a rumor that uh, there is a Durgar walking around, potentially, uh, no, not potentially, that has made the, the noose his wayward home. Rumor has it that he claims to know of a shortcut to the sixth le- level, and he's trying to gather people to assist him. Mad fuck is trying to go deep into Kasui. That's not exactly the smartest decision. Though there is rumors that deep in the sixth layer, in the Black Citadel, there is a way out. Just gotta survive long enough to get there, which is the challenge. So, crazy question here. Uh, could we just hire both of them? I mean, that's a possibility. I mean, that sounds kind of like a win-win. The guy who knows a shortcut, and then we have the gnolls there. Uh, oh, and, that, and that way, assuming that they don't trust each other, because, again, carcery, uh, if they try and betray us, they'll have to also inevitably contend with the fact that they'll have to betray each other, and one Duragar versus a bunch of gnolls is not really a winning fight. Yeah, also, it minimizes our chance to become a 50-50 group of betrayal to a one-third group betrayal. <laughs> Yeah. We go from a coin toss to a D3, whatever that is. You know, that reminds me of a game I used to play. I believe it was called... I can't think of an allegory. Never mind. Pathfinder? Yes, we'll go with that one. (laughs) Let's borrow an IP. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, I've never time. heard this voice from you before, Red, and I'm just tickled by it. You guys threw Cajun out there, and I just frantically yeah. went back into my hit my mind palace. It was like Gambit from <laughs> Gambit from X Men, Gambit from X Men, Gambit from X Men. I I mean oh, honestly, mon cher. exactly. Yeah, I, I, I butchered I, it probably. I, I no, I, it's wonderful. I love it because the fact that we're like on stilts in a bog, we're like <laughs> Louisiana, and you're just instantly like, I know what to do. <laughs> Like, I, like some like part of uh, Red's brain just like our time has come. All these hours of watching X Men. Let's go. Let's so we take the card, then we blow it up. Duh. Love it. All right. Also, so also some since Red went to the trouble making a NPC that sells pieces of faces. <laughs> I gotta <laughs> ask, are are they? Uh, Magic pieces of face, like you put it on, you temporarily look like something, or is it like, all right, time to go under the knife and you know get a new nose? It's a, it's an under the knife scenario. This is very much like he just has noses. Yeah, as I figured, it, but yeah, it's good uh, should... to check sometimes. It could just be magic noses. We never know. Honestly, <laughs> honestly I wish I thought of that. That would have been really cool. Uh, uh but yeah, uh, this particular level of costly, particularly in the Bastion of Last Hope. Uh, they there was a lot of like black market stuff in terms of forging documents and uh, uh, what's what I'm looking for. And it's like you have the new life. P- yeah, plastic yeah. surgery. Uh, right. Before we leave, uh, our good old friend uh, Stitch, uh, I'm I'm going to engage in a bit of cultural exchange in the fact of like. 100% I'm just gonna like be like alright whip out everything that you got and like I'm gonna see what I don't have and I'll just trade you stuff that you've probably never heard of or seen before uh that way you can sell down here and we can just call it even Stevens I like the um, way you think mon cher why Ca- while cause is doing that can I just kind of keep like an eagle eye and make sure he doesn't have anything that's potentially from Damon's realm sure make an investigation check cause I meant to ask before we left like oh hey is there any potential chance this connects to Damon's old universe, but Satan, sorry. Sure thing. You said investigation? Yeah, investigation. Uh, I swear I'm going blind. 
18. 18. Uh, you see a few things that are that you do recognize from your universe, but not. But it's not sort of a thing like this was exclusively exclusively from your world. Gotcha, gotcha. So there was a a weird sense of like nostalgia, like oh hey, I remember that, and then you re- uh, realizing where, where you are, it's just like oh god. <laughs> Is that what got made me get to these life choices? <laughs> Uh, a hundred percent. Uh, at at one point, uh, <laughs> Kaz is just like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. Here, here's some seeds as well. By the way, Stitch, if you want to like grow some stuff, uh, you know, you've been pretty cool to us. I'm sorry that I called you the nose guy. No, I mean that's what I am, man. I'm the nose guy. I'm, my uh, my the, fucking I mean, voice changed. What the fuck? <laughs> I mean, the nose knows, you know. He has a lot of vocal cords too. Yeah, he has a lot of vocal cords. His voice changed. <laughs> I mean, have you ever had a stopped up nose? Your voice will change. I'm sorry, man. Uh, those are the vocal cords. <laughs> those are the vocal cords from the halfling. Just ignore those. Uh, it's it, it's it's all good, my man. Uh, I'm just gonna give you one last thing before I go, and I just pull out this bright, glowing blue fucking halfling leaf. I'll be like, found this in the uh, elemental planes. Uh, they call this the spice melange. And I will give you this. <laughs> And he pulls out a what appears to be a, the, a toenail the size of his palm. Mm. Boil this gorostro toenail for forty days, and then drink it. And whoa, boy! A gorostro's toenail. Hey, I know a man who died that way. It's the <laughs> happiest death I've ever seen. Boy, you will be ecstatic for about thirty-nine days, and then. Beep. So, yeah, Cos, when you're yeah, old and on hospice, so Cos, when you're old and on hospice, crack this bad boy out. Have a good time. Uh, <laughs> we just give this to James. I, I mean, so, I think, <laughs> he can poison so much drink with this. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be pretty good. <laughs> James poisoned so much drink with it, and it just like, you know, man. You're all right. They say some weird right. things we're, about you, but you're all right. You're all right. And like, <laughs> the, at the end of the 39 days, <laughs> just like starts bleeding from the eyes and every orifice. Like, this was a mistake. And then they explode. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Beautiful. So, we shouldn't be allowed to improv. <laughs> oh, no. It, this is all canon. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah. I, I, was, I, was, I didn't say it wasn't. <laughs> Kaz has had to be a an up uh, uh, an up and respectable teacher. This is the first time that he's gotten to indulge himself outside of the class and, <laughs> and relate. Haven't been able to play D and D all semester. Oh, I'm glad I can give, give you guys a, a chance to just relax. Uh. uh <laughs> I love how like you say that, and Kaz is like, "Oh yes, I can finally do something nefarious. Half of the shit will kill me. Oh my god." Uh, I mean, it won't be a problem for much longer. I mean, if my, my plans to uh, <laughs> attain uh, a, a means of revival work out, <laughs> then I can just kind of take all of this at once. That would be incredible. <laughs> uh, I love he's not saying it's possible, but it would be incredible. I, I, I like the idea of just like, cause is like, yes, I finally attained Lichdom. Well, time to get really fucking high and <laughs> just like... It does highest, everything at once, and it's just walk, like I so for two years. Walk, and I mean this, and with every fiber of my my being, if you accomplish that, you have to describe in game for your epilogue how fucking high you get and just how it goes. You'll be high for a year. Uh, much longer than that, given the amount of stuff that we've probably traded. <laughs> So as uh, you're given directions to the Bastion of Last Hope, uh, to the noose, which is the inn, and as you approach the noose, you hear this large commotion going on inside. And as you enter, uh, you see this tiefling man bleeding on the ground next to, uh, as several barbed devils are taking gold off of a table and stuffing it into a coin bag. One of them spits on his corpse as they walk off, muttering something. Zorus and Damon, 
You both speak in funnel, so you hear them muttering, Filthy cheater, as they walk off. Hmm. Evidently, the man was cheating in a game of cards. Uh, I'm going to follow the guy who got cheated. Oh, no, Crazy the, 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 he's dead. He's stabbed. Oh, no. Oh, sorry, sorry, I thought you said he was walking off. Oh, no. The guy got cheated, right? The guy, the, yeah, the guy, the barb devils are walking off. The tiefling is lying in a pool of his own. Yeah, he was saying uh, he, the guy who got cheated, not the cheater. Oh, yeah, okay. my, right, my, I was, my, my I was mistake. Follow the one walking away. No, unfortunately, he is dead. Is no, I mean the one who was walking away. Oh, oh, okay, yes, the barb devils. Yes, I got you, Hawk. Yeah, sorry, sorry. Like I, I misunderstood. I was like, wait. <laughs> I thought that he got cheated and was walking away. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, the Bob person Devil. who was walking away, I'm like, I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, sure. The Bob Devils kind of move from that table over here. Josh, you're back. You're just in time for to watch a, a murder happen. Yes, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm just going to kind of keep an eye on them. Oh, I was, just, I was about to move. You just pretty much the same spot. Okay. Da. So... Uh, I would like, as you enter, uh, what, you, what's everyone's passive perceptions? 19. 19. Uh, let me get mine. Eight. <laughs> so Zoe, she was like, oh my god, a dead body. Oh, 14. Oh my god. Uh, wow, my passive is a 19. Nice. Oh. Nice. Oh, guys. 14. 14, 14, uh, okay. Clean 14. So, Zoas, you're... I'm expertising. I mean, oh, passive. God damn, I was looking at the green one. Oh, what's your passive then? Say it, because I can't see the thing. It's getting oh, cut off 24. Me. Thank you. Yeah, for some reason, roll 20 is cutting off the... Whatever is the bottom entry for me, in, which is weird. Mm. I had that. I had to reload. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm lazy. <laughs> Thank you, Damon. <laughs> Thanks, Hawk. Uh, so, so you're like, oh, cool, dead body. Uh, because it's nothing new for you. Uh, but the tavern appears to be full of unsavory characters. Uh, for example, you notice... Let me get into GM mode. ba da ba da Shit. Well, he's visible too, I guess. <laughs> he's back. There goes my surprise. Uh, <laughs> you notice a bunch of gnarly looking individuals. Uh, a bunch of what looks like biker gang of gnolls. They're wearing these tattered biker jackets, ripped jeans, and com comedically enough, they're wearing poorly fitting bandit masks as if that's going to hide the fact that they're gnolls so are they a, a group of gnarly gnolls? gnolls yep gnarly gnolls and with them is one familiar scrawny uh scrawny wizard in the middle also wearing a poorly fitting bandit mask ripped jeans no shirt but a biker jacket with his spaghetti arms uh with a face tattoo. <laughs> and he lock eyes with you, Kaz, and you recognize the former headmaster of Sorrentis Giannis. Who immediately Missy steps over to you and goes, I joined a gang. Please help me. <laughs> I am very sorry. Uh... <sighs> Oof. Uh, I apologize. I will do right with my debt to society. Uh, they want just, me to punch people, and I am not good at punching. Just, I am just very a, just scared. A, you're, you're, you're okay. You're okay. This is a question. How many times have you died? Uh, I don't. Am I dead? Did I have. I don't believe I've. I've died. Is that a, a thing I should be concerned about? Am I dead? 
Oh I, God, well, no, am I, I dead? I, 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 you're not. You weren't dead when I sent you here. I'm just asking, have you died since coming here? No, I am. I am a master of the arcane techniques. Okay, but like, have you died? No, I have not died. Okay. Uh, then yeah, you should be fine. Uh, I have good news, bad news. Uh, good news. Yeah, the, the, I appreciate your apology. Thank you very much. I, I would be happy to help you get out of here uh, oh, if goodness. you uh, agree to kind of like you, you. You're gonna have to work for me. Whatever you want. Yes. Uh, bad news. I am here to hire your gang. He kind of does a double take back at them. <laughs> Okay. Uh, further bad news. <clears throat> We're leaving, right? Uh, well, I mean, not right now, no. But we we will be. Um, but here's the here's the here's the really bad news, and I I want to go ahead and preface this with, I'm sorry. But uh, Damon gave me some guidelines for prison rules before we came here yeah, and I I have to establish my dominance and I punch him before he can react <laughs> like fully clock him in the face roll an attack roll sure thing I'm over here by the knolls that you came from correct yes yeah. gonna while this has been going down, we're been trying to talk to this, I assume, drow individual. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so, uh, if you... I have some questions that... One second. <laughs> uh, that was a, uh, it's a 16 to hit. He, he doesn't even have major drama up yet. <laughs> it's... Just, oh, it goes it's down. Rocking out of the floor. It, it sounds like a wet bag of rice. Just... <laughs> I feel so bad about it. I'm like, oh god, I have to put on a face, and I'll be like, "That's what you get. That's what you get." And I like turn to Zorus. And I'm like, "Yeah, fucking material gang. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fuck that guy." But I, I, I turn, I turn to Zorus. I'm like, "Oh my god, I felt so bad. It felt so bad." You hear the gnolls <laughs> cracking up, laughing, and just go, "Come on, Yam, go, get up and fight back." <laughs> Like I feel, I feel so bad. They don't know my name. <laughs> they they just call me Yam. <laughs> oh God, he's making it worse. <laughs> I just like this is just like cause graphic sword by the shoulders. Like <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, Damon's just gonna uh, lean kick into him, the nose. Kick him on the ground. Okay. <laughs> Yam's <a good one. laughs> I'm sorry. What's Damon do? <laughs> Damon's gonna le lean into the nose. Are you sure Yam's an appropriate name? Yam's you can at least eat. They're useful. He's a little too scrawny for that. But he's funny as hell. <laughs> Logan sees all this going down, goes back over to the trail, like, yeah. So, so anyways. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking for, like, a Durgor, I think it was. She just kind of points right behind you. And you see this, Thank you. <laughs> you see this, like, richly dressed, noble-looking dude, like... Which is weird considering everyone else is just dirty as fuck. Kind of mocking the shit out of this Durgar wearing this, like, beaten up the fuck up helmet as he just is just ignoring the shit out of him and just taking a drink of his. his. Uh, what appears to be ale. One's going to approach. Okay. Hi. Are you the Durgar I heard about? No, I'm one of seven Durgo that have come here to abscond with a sleeping princess. Fantastic. Uh, I'm looking for one that is Wait. looking to uh, get to the bottom of Corsary. Oh, I'm fucking that one. Yeah, that's me. Name's Dust. Roland, King of Thieves. What I tell you, you would only attract the idiotic and foolish. And, uh, you are. Oh. My name is, Th is Donovar. Doesn't mean any bells. Hmm. Yes. I'm... There was simply a mistake, and I'm 
waiting also to Also wondering, who invited you to the conversation that this man and I are having? Well, I was already engaged in ridiculing the fuck. Yeah, uh, I'm looking to hire this man, so if you want to continue to ridicule someone who knows costly and shortcuts, you're going to either have to pay me a fee or step off. Roll intimidation check. Oh boy, I never get to do that. It really comes up that I get to actually ask for that. Intimidation. 23. Oh, God. Uh, you see him just kind of... Look more frustrated than anything as he steps right... I mage hand him behind him so that he slams into that. You... You actually, hit. You actually see... What? Uh, he appears to walk right through where your mage hand is. Wanted to detect magic. Uh, you sense an illusion spell on him. Huh. And what about this bear? Oh, I forgot I put that there. Uh, that's a bear with a gun. Motherfucker. Uh, that, that is the bouncer. That bear gets around, god damn it. Wait, does he have a bolo cap? No. If he it does uh, okay, it's not the same bear. Yeah. D do you know that guy? Uh, a player uh, no. in our first ever uh, campaign recruited an army of bears. <laughs> and Storm was like Oh I remember this. Yeah, Storm was like, Alright, they pull out their guns. And they're like, The bears have guns? Like, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I was very new to D&D, &D, so I was, like, very loosey-goosey as a DM. Is the, is the illusion on the Duragar or the Noble? Sorry, I, uh, On noble. the Noble. Do you know who that man was? Uh, just trying to pawn me out of my gold. What, was he trying to do? No, uh, trying to pay his way through the river Styx. Uh, tried to charm me. Got mad when I didn't fall for it. Strange, because that man himself is an illusion. Oh, yeah. Rock Sasha. Uh. Hold on, I need to roll to see if Roland knows what the fuck that means. Nope. He does not know where Rock Sasha is. Bit ah, mind. yeah. Those Rock Sashas. <laughs> Tiger Demon. Oh. He's, oh, sorry. Uh, Go ahead. I was say, I, I, I'm not there, never mind. But I was going to yeah. say, would Damon know? But Damon's not there. Well, we'll fill in the party when he gets back. Yeah, I'm looking to... Uh, my friends and I are looking to put together uh, an expedition to get to the sixth, so, uh, sixth level. Per perfect. I'm going there, too. I understand that you know some shortcuts. Oh, yeah. We'd like to hire you. Perfect. Fucking, fucking glorious. Let's do We're this. also going to be hiring the uh, gnolls as bodyguards. Is that is that a uh, deal breaker for you? I don't give a fuck. Right, and what was your name? Dust. Fantastic, Dust. What is your rate? I ain't charging. I just want to get to the sex layer. Inside check. Okay. Like, is he fucking with me? Does he have ulterior motives? Okay, that's, uh... Brain, come on, you can do it. Twenty six. He's not, not fun today. He's yeah. not charging. He seems serious that he does he just wants to get to the sixth layer. Why aren't you charging? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh I forgot to ask you what your purpose in the sixth layer was. Oh wait, I don't give a fuck. So how about we mind each other's business and just get to our destinations? So long as your intention isn't betraying my party and I. I ain't getting there by myself. I'm, I'm small enough to recognize that. Besides, I've only been here for three days. I haven't actually uh, fallen to Corsary's uh, manipulation yet. But you've been here for only three days and you know of a secret passage? I, uh, shortcuts? I knew, it, I knew about it before it came. Another insight check. Just want to make sure that, I mean, no, I'm not going to roll because like Roland already determined that he's 
seems honest. I mean, you can. I don't want to use inside some sort of lie detector. I mean, you can. No, go ahead and roll if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that is a twenty-two. Again. Tw uh, yeah, twenty-two. Seems lucid. Seems upfront. Okay. Almost, almost aggressively blunt. Okay. Give me one second. And Ulan goes over to the Oxasha. Hi, man. Uh, he says that he will... Well, he gave you all of his money. You just need to meet him on this side of the Bastion of Last Hope. And I give him directions to where we are not going to be. <laughs> For a deception check. Uh, that will be 28. Wonderful. I will see you there, I hope. Fantastic. If we aren't there at, by sundown from tomorrow, uh, look for us. We may have been betrayed. Oh, I okay. hope not. I we join the group. Okay, guys. So do you know what the, what the fuck a look Sasha is? Uh, as you turn, you see Giannis like just like butting hands as he attempts to retaliate. Oh boy, <laughs> they just walk into butting hands. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, we'll go say yeah. So I'm just gonna counterspell that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, we can't well, rest. We can... Uh, no, we can't heal via rest. Oh, yeah, so spell, we, we spell slots. Back yeah, spell there. slots still recover. The only thing that doesn't um, recover are hit points and clearing conditions. Everything okay, else. I missed that. My bad. No, no worries. Uh, everything else. On you, that, though. Everything else you still get back on a short rest, including hit die, uh, everything. Uh, I will. By the way, the punch would have done like no damage because I do have a minus two strength. I mean, he heals two hit points. He also so, has, he also has a, a negative in his con, so. Oh Jesus Christ! Why would the wizard uh, do that to himself? So anyway, uh, yeah, I just I counterspell that, and I'm gonna keep doing like Zorus told me, and just keep kicking him. Roland <laughs> sees this, goes okay, and then he just goes. You know what, Sasha? Okay, I just go to with the gnolls while Dame's spying on the... Uh... Well, what, I, I was about to say, uh, one of them starts moving over to kind of... Alright. Uh, let's see, what was, what was I going to say? Uh, quit kicking all yam. We're just looking to uh, recruit some strong muscle for an expedition down to the uh, lower circles. Oh, yeah. Yes. Well, good luck with that. I was under the impression you guys were looking for hire. Eh, were open for hire. Thanks, Damon. <laughs> we just came from the fourth level. We are... We are in no interest of going back down there. Not even for your freedom? And you can offer that. How about you give us all the gold on you so we can pay the ferryman? Why then bother the ferryman? Uh, you guys both talk at the same time. Uh, Damien, go ahead. I said, aye, why bother with the ferryman? When you can get out of here and potentially have gainful employee as well. After all, if you go to the ferryman, you have to pay him all the gold that you have. Whereas, alternatively, you can escape and keep the gold. Either both of you are persuasion or one of you are with advantage. Uh, Damien, go ahead. Okay. That is literally my best... Uh, I'm not going to say it out loud because that will, uh... It will jinx me. You have I advantage. give you my reliable talent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said advantage? Yes. That is a 37. Oh my god! No, so sorry, I was looking at my pass. That is a 27. That's a 27. <laughs> <You have to. laughs> oh my god. I was like, god damn, son. Or that is a 27. Still. <laughs> I, Damon, I can't get it with a nat 20. My god. That is, I love how there wasn't even any doubts in my mind at that moment. It's like, sounds right. <laughs> 
Right. You gotta remember, Bayman's character was literally built around having to hide what he is. Uh, you see him, this guy, kind of look over back to the Null group. And this one guy, and there's, there's one Null who's wearing a bigger jacket than everyone else, and a helmet that kind of makes him look like Rufio. <laughs> he just kind of stands up and nods. Is the one with the eye patch? It is, in fact, the one with the eye patch. As he comes over, it's like, Employ, huh? Hey. What kind of employ? Hey, well, we see we run a business outside of this place, and once we return to it, we're always looking for agents to aren't necessarily afraid to get their hands dirty. <laughs> we are very good at getting dirty. Hey, and we pay and we pay very well. Good. He kind of sticks out his hand. You better be playing very fucking well to send us back down. Hey, well. You'll be going down, but you will be getting out. Damon shakes his hand. <laughs> Nims Nash. Damon. He points over to his crew. That's Crank, Rim, Tabs. Over the fourth one. He double backs and sees the fourth one. Fuck, you keep forgetting to give him a name. Trevor. Oh, your name's Trevor now. The fourth one in the back just kind of looks like the hyena from uh, from Lion King. Like, <laughs> oh, that's Trevor. Right, and uh, I procured us a guide, Dust. Dust just kind of walks up, spits on the floor. <laughs> oh, my name. So yeah, we've uh, hired our team. Uh, by the way, uh, goes over the cars who's still kicking. Uh, do any of you two know what uh, Rock Sasha is? Oh, Tiger Demon. Yeah, because I think I may. I just like lied to one's face because they they were trying to scam Dust. Ugh. I mean, in in the material plane, that would be a problem, but. I mean, assuming he can't ever get out of here, you're probably fine. But if he does, uh, he will never stop hunting you. Oh. Good luck to him. Oh, is that all? <laughs> I dealt I mean, with the Taggers of Night. I'll just shoot him in the face. I I mean, yeah, you, you can because, like, it, you, he could still be killed, but, like, he'll just keep coming back because he's a demon and can't really die unless you kill him in the abyss. Huh. Fuck. Uh, well, anyway, <laughs> I, I, I kick Yan one more time. That's a problem uh, for later. And then, I, and then I pick him up off the ground and uh, go, hey, man, sorry about that. You know, you know how it is. It's prison. Uh, yeah, I got it. And I just hand him a health potion. We'll get you out of here, man. Uh, Nash kind of puts his hand on Yannis, like, and this is Yams. Oh, I, I know. I sent him here. Oh! Yams, why'd you get a chance to kick this one? I, I don't know. I'm... Because I'm so weak. That's the because, correct answer. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, was about, I was about to say because I'm I amongst the two of us, I am the superior wizard. You can tell that because you sent him here towards the beginning of our time skip. These yeah, guys been here for like two years. <laughs> these guys have been bullying the fuck out of him since he got here. Oh, that's all. I mean, at least it's been a humbling experience. <laughs> at uh, least he, he's a better person. Now. He just kind of sighs to himself like. At least when I get out of here, I can go to my vacation home. Oh, no. Uh, well, about that. I'm just kidding. I never had it destroyed yet. Uh, but it is now like a mental health retreat for students and teachers, which That's wonderful. Seems I think I'm going accurate. to need it. <laughs> yeah, it seems very fitting 
considering your living situation. I appreciate I, that. I'm sorry, I'm laughing, but cause would not. Mental health is no joke. Yeah, like, I'm just laughing because, like, it's just now hitting me that I've ruined this man's life. He kind of deserved it, though. I yeah, he did, but it's still just so. It's so dark. I didn't. It is. I so didn't dark. realize how bad it was gonna be. <laughs> you also didn't know how deserving he was until after the punishment was dealt. I, 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 <laughs> here's the thing. I figured let's make this as dark as possible and see where it goes. Again, even Damon was like, I don't think that's a appropriate punishment. I, I'm surprised that he lived. Honestly, I you know I he he's resourceful. I'll give him that. I mean, he may be an asshole, but he is still a very powerful wizard. I mean, but he can't, even, he can't even cast ninth level. I mean, what's he fucking doing with his life? <laughs> no, he can cast ninth level. Wait, what? He didn't take power word kill. What a fucking idiot! He's like a dead guy. He was a teacher. Wish yourself out of here. He doesn't know. It doesn't wish. work that way. <laughs> That, and I have it so that most NPCs don't get a wish. I have it that's like something that strictly only players can get. Like how player characters are the only ones in my setting that can get <laughs> rival magic. Yes. Uh, so, Dust kind of throws a gold coin to the barmaid, like, the beer sucks, and leaves. Uh, all right, let, let's, uh, you guys want to get going? Sure thing. All right, stay, stay with me. Don't fucking, don't fuck this up. Okay. No, not fuck anything up. <laughs> I'll do my best. Ugh. All right, let me just. Uh, we, we won't fuck anything up, um. Just one thing, real quick. <laughs> uh, no, you don't have to bring us back to. The, oh, okay. I was like, you don't have to bring us back to the map. I was just gonna handle this really quickly. Uh, okay. Just gonna have like, uh, be like, uh, spit. Just, just, just uh, find the people that look like they've been in the shit the most, and just hand out like some some business cards for like the the flavored potions. Maybe give like a free sample or something. I don't know. You, you see him open a different sack. Like, no, yeah, we'll go any, anywhere without the free samples. Yeah, okay, cool. He's, uh, just hand out some free samples, uh, give some cards. Uh, I doubt anybody's going to make it out of here, but, you know, it, it never turn off an avenue for business. Damn um, right. And, oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Uh, then I was just going to go to the bar, uh, May, and be like, I'm, I'm sorry that your beer sucks. Here's some spice melange. And then I'll sleep. <laughs> and, Damien, what were you going to do? I was going to ask, um, before we left, I want to make sure that like those like barb demons and people like that aren't following us out, per se, or weren't eyeing us too hard. Okay, I'll go ahead and make a perception check. Okay. Or investigation, your choice. Um, I guess perception, because I'm just generally trying to see if anyone's getting a feel for us. Okay. Um, I, uh, partake in this as well with just insight. He'll cover perception, I cover, I cover that. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Uh, 23. 23? Yeah. Uh, the Bob Devils did kind of look up when your two groups merged, but it was mostly out of a thing of curiosity and not necessarily of... 25 for insight, by 25? the way. Okay. Uh, there does seem to be a survival strategy here, and mm. numbers plays a factor into that. They... Your group is now fairly large to the point that anyone who looks as though they were th thinking of starting shit have reconsidered to a degree. So it's important like yeah some people were considering jumping you guys but they have since put yeah. that idea on hold. We considered. Yeah, we considered. Like, yeah, no, this is not going to be worth it. All right. So as you travel, uh, you make your way out of the Bastion of Last Hope, and you follow dust across the swamplands, and before you, there is this marshy forest and this uh, kind of 
rocky terrain that leads up to the mountains. He turns to, to the group. We can do this one of two ways. We can go the long way through the swamp, or the faster way through the base of the mountain. I personally don't want to waste time, so I'm voting for the mountain. But it has less <clears throat> terrain hazards, but it goes right through the Titan's to domain. The Titans are roaming around around this place and they ain't uh they ain't they're the first prisoners of course and they are fucking territorial they don't allow anyone into the mountains so we have to sneak by if your group's comfortable with that we are very good with stealth i was about to say please tell me that you've got like pass without a trace prepared roland taps his armor I can cast three times a day with this. I can also cast Cool it. deal. Now we're fine. Yeah. I think we're set. Excellent. Uh, he begins to talk about a strategy to get you through, but Zorus, you're not catching a bit of it. You're hearing this voice entering your mind. Mm -hmm. uh, the voice is... It sounds familiar to you. It echoes... Like, I remember you. It's your fault. <laughs> it's your fault. I'm here. And I would like everyone to make intelligence saving throws. Oh no. Oh no. Actually, never double check the writing because I might not be able to talk to everybody. Okay. <laughs> All right, as a monk, I get it. I get proficiency in all saving throws. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, oh, not many uh, skills, my chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, no, he can't target everybody, but he's definitely going to target all the player characters. Oh. Right. So let me get Giannis's stats out. <laughs> He's gonna go for Yon too. <laughs> He's a wizard. He's proficient with that save at least. He is. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, can I spend a luck point and redo mine? Sure, you can spend luck on this. Oh. Still not great, but better. <clears throat> Seventeen now instead of a six. Okay, you... Uh, natural 20 for 31. Oh my god. Okay, so... This is intelligence? Yes. Intelligence saving throw. Yeah. Okay. Roland has a max intelligence. So yeah, this... that makes sense. So do I. So I, I just will play him as the second guys, smallest, because Kaz is more practical knowledge. Guys. Sorry, man. Okay, so I'm trying to... So Kaz got 24. Aki mm -hmm. got 21. Roland, 31. Uh, Demon, 17. What did uh, Josh get? 21. 20... Holy shit, you and Aki just made the DC. Yes! Uh, oh my god. Giannis also succeeds. Uh, and... Yep. Dust does too, and... Okay, you... Uh, all of you feel this shrieking in your head as two of the gnolls, who were also hit by this, go, what was... And their heads explode. It better not have been Ufio. No, Ufio is alive. Uh, but let me make him visit. Was it, oh, was it Trevor? Trevor? <laughs> no, Trevor's alive. Don't worry. Good. Oh, my God. <laughs> As... We had to be sure. Well, we turns them. We are attached to him now. Trevor, are you okay? I'm after all, a lot of these sixes. Oh, shit. You know, you could just take the average. If, it, if it's a spell, it should be this. Hey, Stone, can you, roll up my, can you run up my uh, dice bag from downstairs? I already have 3d6 on me, and this, and this is Psychic Scream. Uh, psychic quick question, uh, yes. Red, while you have a second. Um, so, just to be sure. Uh, so, teleport, banishment, those don't work here. Uh, plane shift also doesn't work, correct? Correct. Okay, I was just changing what my prepared spells would have been. Okay. Well, while you're getting dice and rolling damage, I'm gonna run to the bathroom real quick. Go ahead. That kind of that kind of sucks because I I did have loose <laughs> I did have plane shift prepared. I'm like yeah, just in case we need to get out of yeah. here, and I'm like oh, oh nope. 
Damon failed to save, didn't he? So I'm taking all the damage, aren't I? Uh, you are, and unfortunately, you are stunned. Wait, wait, wait. Fun. I'll be back in about 20 minutes then. Yes. Kidding, kidding. <laughs> Stunning. What the hell? What did we say? What a mess. Uh, I am, uh, Storm, you got hit by the ninth level spell, Psychic Scream. Okay, what does that do? Uh, what the fuck? What is that talking about familiar? Uh, by the way, immediately, like, coming into this, I am, like, casting Mage Armor the second that, like, I succeed on my save. Okay. Uh, that means fan. Also, uh, for Roland and Zorus, Roland, you also, like, you, as soon as you s turn to see the source of this, you you recognize the figure <laughs> that that, ca that casts a spell, because only you and well, no actually uh, the rest of you were too because you met him in the cell. This is Orion, oh, your good buddy Orion. Oh hi Orion. Uh, I mean, I said, what are you doing here? But we're in, we're in jail. Yeah. Uh, give me a second here. I need to finish. Coming. I mean, that was gonna be that was uh, that was one of the things I was gonna ask in the bar. Is like, is the tiefling that got stabbed to death and cheated at cards Orion? But then I'm like, <laughs> I'm not gonna ask that. Well, there's a lot of things going on in this bar. I really wish I'd asked that. Now. <laughs> so. oh God, if, he'd, if he'd been stabbed to death over cards, maybe we wouldn't be fighting him right now. <laughs> That's right, con. Stab him in the face. It's like extreme. Okay. So, but god damn it, all these fucking dice. I hate me. Why? Why didn't I roll this in advance? Oh, god damn. Yeah, shout out to. Uh, you cow there, right? Shout out to Coffin Jockey for talking me out of Meteor Swarm. Uh, so yeah, that is 49 points of psychic damage. Oh, wait, no, it's 14, 14 DC. I'm, I'm down by two. Oh. Do we take half of this? You do. Uh, uh how much again I'm, are we talking? Uh, it is... 52 halved, so... I, 27. Yeah, thank you. Shit. Thank you, Headband of Intelligence, for spit. I'm back, what a mess. Uh, you take uh, 52 points of psychic damage. Whew. Everyone else... Also, I just realized I never accounted for the Headband of Intelligence on my intelligence save. It still would not have been enough for me to have passed this, but... I don't have it attuned. Oh, sorry, I took it off. That's why I don't have it on. Yeah. You... Never mind. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Sorry. No worries. How much was it again? Uh, it is 20... Uh, for you, it is 52. Uh, I mean, if there's anyone in the group to take, take the hat, it would be... It's good to ask the guy with the D10. Yeah, D David's thankfully built out of hit points. Uh, on a successful save, the target takes half as much damage and isn't stunned. Uh, if oh. the target is killed by this damage, its head explodes, assuming it has one. Uh, well, quick question. No one here has an uh, intelligence of two or lower, right? <laughs> no. Okay. <sighs> I mean, players or characters? <laughs> just, che <laughs> just checking, otherwise you'd be unaffected. I mean... I rolling doesn't mean you... Uh, rolling has a 20, and that has a 2 in it. That is true. Oh, brag well, don't you? <laughs> I also have a 20, which has a 2 in it. Damon has a 14, which is divisible by 2. It has another <laughs> number in it, divisible by 2. Oh, hell, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I He's a math on this man. <laughs> I can math, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just imagining David like fucking Jesse Pinkman, just like yeah, I am, bitch. Math. <laughs> God damn it! Pretty much. That's kind of like I did the hand motion. <laughs> <laughs> fucking like Yeehaw. I know. <laughs> okay, 
okay, just mm. getting spit's hit points adjusted. Mm. That's not spit. Okay. Do, do, do. God damn it. Oh, that is easy math. Why did I? Th why? Why did I blank on that? Fuck me. Okay. And let's see. Headmaster Giannis. Did his brain <clears throat> explode? Uh, no. Surprisingly, but he looks f real fucked up. Oh wait, no. They fucking save. Why did I do that to them? Uh, quick question. I see that you have the flying token uh, marker on him. Yes. Well, it's the wing tiefling. Yeah. But also, okay. uh, let yeah. me finish. Uh, uh, I fucked up, so let me. Okay. Yeah. Hit points. I was going to ask Chris Ball that you finish your narration first. Yeah. Okay. So. You turn and uh, you'll hear this spinning scream echo in your minds as you turn and see a creature hovering in the air above you all. And you recognize the Tiefling Orion with a large grin on his face. It looks as though I have a second chance to kill you. And he flies up 30 feet. Uh, he was 60 feet away from all of you, so now he is 90 feet above you all. Ooh. And I'm going to need some initiative rolled. I have a question, Red. Yes. Even though I'm stunned, can I still speak? Um, Not to cast spells, just to taunt. I'll say yeah, let's go for that. Damon's just going to cause as a... Who are you again? He's like, oh, fuck you. No, 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 seriously, like, th does anyone actually remember this guy? I- I never really met this guy. Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah. I got 20 for my initiative. Nice! My, what are my fire is? This probably don't even have 20 to get tonight. Hey, real quick, uh, could you just go away? <laughs> no. Excuse us, sir, your... have we met? We're trying to kill your boss. Also Wait, does he? Black. His oh. boss? Do we work? For, does he? Does he work for David? Oh no, he Is works for him? Carvanon. <laughs> oh, I I think he works for Carvan. Zorus, does he work for Carvanon? I think he's just. Uh, weird. Storm, can you get me some like battle music? What? <laughs> uh, no, I I got it. I got it. <laughs> oh, dude, I've already got some battle music up. I'm listening to some fucking Fire Emblem music, dog. Oh, uh, I'm listening uh, to Red Hot Chili Peppers. I will find something royalty free that I can listen to because I'm recording. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say royalty free. Excuse me, sir. I think your position has been replaced, so sorry about that. Well, okay. I I rolled my initiative and the die cocked like six times. I could Ooh. hear <laughs> dude, I, I could hear the frustration from the other side of the wall. You would always <laughs> try to Changing the die, I tried changing where I was rolling. It was insane. <laughs> right, so twenty-one total. Okay. Uh, go I ahead. Like a ten, and then I like. Um, okay, I don't. Oh yeah, my I'm, I'm in, I'm, I need to interrupt you. To, add them to the initiative yourself while I handle like five hundred NPCs, please. Totally understand. Uh, you can't <laughs> add anyone else's name. J just add your own. I'll handle the rest. Okay. So he's at ninety feet. What's the range of my longbow? Your longbow's good. Yeah, I I just pulled it up. There we go. Oh, what's the range of my spells? <laughs> Oh no. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> and all the nodes will go together on... Okay. Aki, what'd you get for initiative? Ah, uh, 20. 20. Okay, uh, Kaz and Aki, what are your dexterity modifiers? Zero. Okay. Kaz, what's yours? Oh, uh, three. Three. Okay, so Orion is going before you. What a bitch. Alright, so, Damon, you're up first. I'm gonna need you to make me another intelligence saving throw. Cool. Yo, that's like my best feat, yo. Such a bad... 17! Math, bitch! <laughs> no, it... no, no, sorry, sorry, the wrong one. Uh, nine! Oh, oh no! Fuck! I math bitched myself! <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to use another? I looked points? up and I looked at my freaking persuasion again. No, this Go is that path. this is intelligence save, not a skill. I know, I know, my intelligence skill's worse. Though so it's it's a nine. Do you want to use another luck point? I do, but I'm also like worried I'm gonna need that. I'll, I'll try one more. But yeah, let's use one of my two remaining. Okay, I have a plan. I might be able to help you out on my turn. That is an eight. Oh, we have gone backwards, people. I'm sorry, you're still stunned. Okay. Uh, so that, unfortunately that's your whole turn. I know. All I'm right. just gonna hurl more insults at him. All right, you see it bothers him greatly. Good, I uh, need that, I, I, I can use that. Voland, you're up. Okay. He's 90 feet away. Yes. I'm going to take steady aim and okay. fire with advantage. And as I do this, I'd like to, as a reaction, cast silvery bulbs on myself. What? I'm. Giving myself this head No, I'm not going to use my bonus action. What was I thinking? I was thinking about something else. Uh, basically, I'm going to give myself disadvantage on this next roll with silvery bulbs and give Damon advantage on his next saving. Oh. oh. Okay. That's... Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That... I'm That's just really clever. Because you're giving yourself disadvantage, that you won't qualify for sneak attack. I I, I will allow this. We got to get hit Damon back on the board. Okay. Mm. So. Because you're using steady aim, it's just a straight roll. No, I, uh... Well, I only took away steady aim from that. Oh, I okay. decided not to, so still 25. 25? Yeah. Uh, yeah, even with shield. Uh, yeah, that hits. Or attack. Or, or damage. Ah, damn, I meant to say that I was going to use a different arrow. Uh, sorry, it's a bit too late for that. Yeah, I always make that mistake. I'll, I'll make a note for the top of your next turn if you want to do that. Sure thing. And that's just a D8. Okay, damage. 15 points of piercing damage. Right, 15. And is there a place where I can find cover? Uh, yes, there are tree. Like, you're on the edge of, like, a network of trees and rockland, so you could find, like, a tree to take over behind. Uh, is here an option? Uh, yeah, we we could say uh, there, yeah. Why? What's up? Don't worry about it. GM layer stuff. Bonus action hide. Okay, roll a stealth check. I think I have advantage on stealth. You do, because of the cloak and boots. Yeah, the cloak, right. Oh, damn, 19 plus everything. Yeah, we'll say you're hidden. Yeah, I just want to see the number because it makes me feel good. <laughs> uh, Thirty-eight, he's seven. I hate you. Okay, 
Orion's turn. Hmm. Let's see. What does he want to do to the people that he thinks ruined his life? What does he have that's 90 feet range? Uh, let's see. If only I thought this through and planned to. It's okay, it's in character, he didn't either. <laughs> no, that's not gonna work, because one of you is silly. Um. Too close, too close. No, he's going. What's the radio for this? A sixty-foot sphere. Okay, he's going to cast Circle of Death on the entire group. Yeah, that, I, I think that still gets you, Roland. Damn it! Wait, it's a sixty-foot sphere. Yeah, I think that works. So let's see. I'm gonna need everyone to make constitution saving throws. Am I at disadvantage? Oh no, I'm. No, you're not at disadvantage because of stun. You you can roll normally. Yeah, because of yeah. That's one for dex, I think. I think so. Yeah. Twenty-four for Roland. Okay. Yeah, you said can say. Uh, 24 preserves. If you want, you can use the advantage that I give you, or you can hold on to it. I'm holding on to it. Yeah. I got a 14, I got a 14 for my save. Awesome. I can't afford to keep um, burning okay. luck trying to get out of this. That's a fat three. Take that. Fat three. Uh, Is there any cow spell? Uh, unfortunately, uh, he's, no, he's, not. he's out of range. Damn. Because he is 90 feet away, and the range on Circle of Death is, is 150. This motherfucker's plan. He actually thought this through. Damn it, Red. Yeah, Red thought this through for once. Well, it also helps that I reminded Red that I have counter spell prepared when I counter spelled a first level spell. Oh no, I was this his spell list was chosen specifically with counter spell in mind. What? So you're aware of the three characters with counter spell? Man, it's like you guys have locked down my spellcasters in the past. I mean, I, yeah. Alright, Dust succeeds, and yeah, Giannis does not, but the Gnolls do, so that's good for them. Well, it's good to know that Giannis is about to die. Uh, 86 Necrotic. Twenty-four points of necrotic damage to everybody. Half twenty-four. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, hold on. Uh, not to everybody. Uh, twenty-four to those who failed, which was, uh, Kaz, Giannis. Hold on. Let me just. Uh, where is Giannis? You fucker. Uh. Giannis is alive. Uh, I would hope so. It's 24 points damage. Uh, so 24 to you, Damon. And that's what I was waiting on. And... Uh, I'm sorry, what did Aki get? Wait, this is necrotic damage? It is. I, I think I'm attuned to my ring. Yeah, I'm, I'm attuned to the ring of necrotic resistance. Oh, shit. So, so you... Quarter. Yeah, so you and Zoas will both take... Uh, well, it, 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 it didn't post. Yeah, seven. Yeah. Quarter of this. Yeah, seven. So you and Zoas take seven. Zoas, we're amazing. We're so cool. But also, wow. <laughs> I'm doing so good right now. Yeah, that's why I got So you take the 24 also. And. 
and just go from the nose and spit. How the fuck did the nose get a natural 20? Yes! Because they're the gnolls. We're making it out. And they all also have wings of necrotic <laughs> resistance. <laughs> they, 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 wanna, they wanna escape. They want an escape. I legitimately threw the sheets together last minute, last night. Just like, you know what? They might recruit the gnolls. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. Just imagining just being like, the rats, the rats, we are the rats. All right. So that's, hmm, what else can he do on his turn? I should have reviewed. He's fine. Golden spell options. Look pretty great. Like he doesn't get a lot of really amazing choices, but like he's built pretty good as a support cast, so when he's not dealing sneak attack. That's all he's gonna do for now. Uh I did take more support spells for Damon this go around too. Alright. Kaz, you're up. All right, so this will be my first time casting it, uh, but, you know, uh, talk shit, get hit, uh, fast times that get fucked high. Uh, I'm going to need him to make me an intelligence saving throw. Okay. Who are you casting, man? Uh, people might. Oh, shit. Excessive. You know what? I'll go ahead and roll the damage that he takes regardless. I... hmm. I wonder if you can quicken spell... if you can distance spell counter spell. Let, let me reread this. When you cast a spell that has a range of 5 feet or greater... No, yeah, he's going to spend a sorcery point to... distance spell quicken spell. And attempt to counter spell you. And okay, what level is he casting it at? Uh, he's going to burn a sixth level on that. Okay, he has to roll. Okay. Because people mind is an eighth level spell. And it's just a straight charisma check for him, right? Pretty much. 19. Uh, yeah, he uh, succeeds. Uh, so he, you feel this almost psionic energy into your mind as the spell fades, but his reaction is burnt. Oh, I don't think so. <clears throat> Anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh... Uh, Walker, do you still have your boots of flights? Uh, I do. Um, I was just being careful about using them because of what they said. But uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead and um, since he seems to be having no problem, I'll go ahead and uh, since he's 90 feet away, I'll go ahead and move uh, just 30 feet closer to him uh, with my boots of flying. Um, Counts bow range, copy. And well, I should have moved closer uh, initially, but that's that's on me. Um, I'm gonna put you right here, just as a reminder that you are close to him. Uh, and then bonus action, I'm gonna drink a potion. Uh, it will be uh, my one uh, potion of greater healing. Okay. Uh, by the way, he still he still takes. Uh, oh wait, no, because he counterspelled it, so he wouldn't take any damage from uh, people. Mind, never mind. Uh, also, I forgot to mention this as more as rule I'm introducing because because all the healing you're going to do is halved. Any ones you roll on your healing potions, re-roll them. Good to know. 
Uh, okay, so that is... Uh, 18, so halved nine, would be nine. Uh, 9. So that's... Uh, better than nothing. It's very good. All right, up next is Aki. I'm sorry, Aki, you're real quiet. I can't hear you too well. I'm not going to move up because I got these guys strategically placed between me and Noel. Aki, you're muted. No, no, I can hear him through Hawk's mic. Please be quiet. Yeah, they're hearing you through me. You're muted. All right, all right, so uh, I got this shield between me and the big guy, so I'm going to. In the Knolls, I'm just going to go ahead and cast Eldritch Blast on the big guy. Okay, go ahead and fire Eldritch Blast. All right, I've rolled it. I've got a 20, 24, 18, and a 29. A 20, 24, 18, and 29? Yep. Uh, he will cast Shield to negate the 18. 18? All, okay. Yeah, but all other, but the you still have three that hit. All Wait, right. he used his reaction already on counter spell. You're right. So he can't cast shield. So all four hit. Eight. All right. So I got. Thank you for the mind storm. Thank you for keeping me honest. Nice, nice. nice. I got right, you, man. So I got a five, a six, a two, and a nine. I, I pre-rolled this just in case. Uh, so twenty-two damage, plus the five from my invocation. So that'd be twenty-seven points of damage, force damage, hitting him right now. Okay. I'm just like. Just sort of yeeting it over our orcish companion. Just like, take this, Eldritch Blast. As he's distracted by counterspelling the feeble mind, he gets sideswiped by four blasts that hit him in the torso and face. Like, I don't think ah. we fought last time. That's the Holty special. Why was he so convinced you would be useful? <laughs> this is what we do from Halti. Anything you want to do for your bonus action? Uh, I mean, I got, I'm going to move back one behind this guy. Okay. Extra layer protection. That's at least three degrees of attacks of opportunity between me and the and yep, I'm talking about the little guys. Okay. All right, up next is Zorus. Hello. Uh, Zorus is going to fly uh, 55 feet up. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to take four yeah. attacks with my sunbolts. <laughs> uh, he's 90 feet, so... Uh, but if I'm if I go 55 up, I'll be, like, 35 feet away, right? Yeah, so you can use, like, Sip of the Wind. Um, Some bolts can be ranged, though. I yeah, thought. they're 60-foot they're range. Oh, I'm sorry. My mistake. No, you're all good. Man, you're juggling a lot of things. We understand. Yeah, you're all good. I, I um, walked at 5 a.m. today. Uh, and I do that again not tomorrow. Fun. Not fun times two. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, I'm just going to go... Uh, 55 feet up, then I'm gonna fire four shots at him. What? He can't counterspell this. Alright. That's real to hit. Ooh, that's a 17 to hit. It hits. That's, uh, 26 to hit. Hits. That's, uh, that's a 30 to hit. <laughs> hits. <laughs> uh, that's 28 to hit. <laughs> That hits, and I just realized I've been calculating his AC wrong. <laughs> yeah. yeah. His AC is higher than I initially thought. I thought his AC was 15. Turns out it's oh. not. I misread an ability, so that's on me. So one of those, oh, that shouldn't have hit, but I'm, that's on me, so I'm allowing it. Okay. But yeah, the I'll, fact I'll, that he's not going back on it scares me. It's almost frightening that, that this is a 
Hmm. Hey guys, just I'm going to roll my damage. Don't don't worry guys, just don't worry about all the noise you're making. Oh, math, my old friend. How we see each other again. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, I think that's 50 points of radiant damage. Oh! Dear yeah. God. <laughs> As uh, I just unload the four strikes at him. He is not looking good. Yes. Alright, that's all of your that's your turn? Uh yeah, that's all I could do. <laughs> uh the gnolls cannot do shit at that range, but the leader kinda sniffs in the air. He's not alone. And they take out their spears and kinda take a defensive position. Just kinda fanning out. Uh, we see that, let's see, who survived? Tabs and Rim are dead, leaving only Trevor and Crank and Nash. And Yams. And, and of course, Yams, the, on, the honorary Noel. Uh, let's see. So they're holding their action to throw the spears at anything that reveals themselves. Uh, it's Yam's turn. Okay, Yam, what do you got? Does he have Earthbind? Um, that's not gonna work. Um, hmm. Does he cast Resilient Sphere on himself? <laughs> this guy's level 9 spells. He can do something. He can do something. I'm just trying to figure out what like he has in terms of range. Fireball? On the it's, tiefling. it's a tiefling. So, he will cast Lightning Bolt. He has to make a deck series save throw. Which he does make, so he's going to take half damage. Which is 8d6. Wow, why do I use all my d6s? Did I do this right? 86? Lion Bolt? I, I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. That's dog shit. I just rolled fucking 15 points of damage? Oh, no, no, wait. No, I did 20, 25 points of damage reduced. So that's like 13. Yeah. It's just 86. Okay, so he strikes this bolt of lightning up, and I'm just like, I'm going to take you to school! Wait, was that too corny? No one acknowledged him. <laughs> oh, sweet, Spit's not on the board, shit. No, he's, uh, he's, he's five. Oh, thank you. Uh, speaking of, up next is Dust. Uh, looking around, who appears to be the most, hmm, I'm just going to put a fly token on you, Zorus, so I don't forget that you're up in the air right now.
Hmm. Da, 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 da. Actually, that could work. Oh, wait a minute. No, that's not gonna work. Damn it. Yeah, I think he's gonna burn a fifth level spell for mass cure wounds. That is 18 halves to 9 to... Let's see, how many people can he pick for this? If it's line of sight, he can't get rolling unless he can see a 37. Uh, no, he cannot. Six creatures, so... Damon, Zorus, uh, Kaz, Aki, himself, and Spit will heal 9 points. Alright. Hey. Hooray. And there was much rejoicing. Uh, <laughs> and the healing doesn't do as much as he wants. It's like, <sighs> fucking dimension. You loser. Why couldn't you heal me more? <laughs> And let's see, what can you do as a bonus action, Cleric? Depending on what it is, maybe Child of Vanity. Not helpful here. Uh, Alright, that's going to be his turn. Up at next is Spitz. Now, this guy is very far out of range for Spitz. So, Spit will take out a dagger and hold his action for catapults. On the first enemy that he can see. That's going to be his turn. Damon, you have roll me an intelligence save and you can use advantage if you would like because Roland has used silver. Definitely using the advantage. Alright. <sighs> If you biff both, you still have luck. Also, to be clear, your luck does refuel uh, when you take a rest. <sighs> a fourteen and a twenty-one. Twenty-one is the is the DC you just made it. I think uh, my my intelligence save is a two. Oh my god! The odds are not in your favor, man. But you, you're back. Alright, now I think rules is written, that's the end of your turn, but fuck that. I mean, we, we, I'm, I'm fine going by the rules. No, I, I, I mean, I think the rules are you make the save at the top of your turn, so I think that means you get your turn back. Okay. Like death saves. So, right, is there anything you want to do for your turn? So he's still up there. Um, did we see? Did you say we see other things earlier? Uh, the, no the gnolls have said that something's coming, Like those, like he's not alone. So if you want, you can prepare an action to attack anything that comes close. I'll be honest, I honestly did not expect to actually get out of that. <laughs> um, I don't, I'm I sorry. don't get to hit you guys with the intelligence saves often. Yeah, no, that's that's. You stun us often. Yeah, stun was not fun, as they say. Um, uh... I know, right? Glares at the monk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to to be safe. I am going to damn right. Yeah, I'm gonna prepare. I'm gonna prepare and hold because my most powerful range attacks are all fire. That's fair. Um, can I actually, can I see if I can sense anything like like the gnolls are doing? Uh, they they uh they spent their action to, to like do like a perception check for that, but. Um, I mean, I'm okay doing that also, just okay. that way I can give everybody a heads up, like, hey, something's coming. 
Okay, yeah, go ahead and roll me a, a perception check. Alright, maybe I can give them a better idea of what's coming so I can prep. Okay. Uh, 21. 21. Uh, to the left and right of you, you he hear rustling, like, from this direction, and <laughs> this direction. Oh, you, no. You hear <laughs> rustling, and and some kids smell like, <laughs> kind of small. Roland sees Damon, he like, looking in the bushes where he is, and Roland's going, Damon, don't worry, it's just me. <laughs> I'm aware of, like, the, all the thousands of eyes behind him. <laughs> I'm just looking like, like, all right, gang, there's something there, and there's something in that totally unoccupied bush. <laughs> and you, you said you ordered 21? Yeah. There was a sound further away from behind you of something making its way towards you. It's not going to arrive immediately, but something has gotten... You've grasped the attention of something big. All right. I point out to the group, too, like, all right, guys, we may want to finish up here soon because something rather large is on its way. Okay. Uh, Cards and Zoas, make me perception checks. Oh, that's so stupid. <laughs> um, Red, is there any chance I could... Pre oh, go ahead. Sorry. Oh, sorry. I, I too. Two? Two? And cause? 20. 20? 4. 24. 24. Okay. So I'm going to put this on the board, but its distance is not accurate. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> what? As through the trees, cause uh, you see a multi headed hydra that is kind of stopping its way through, through the mountain, through stones and mountains, and kind of sniffing and investigating. A peculiar sound it's hearing. Yeah, we need to go. You guys have gotten the attention of Typhon, the Titan. We need I'm to go. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you say Typhon? Yes, I did. The Greek boogeyman. Yes. The Greek father. Yeah. Yeah, fuck this. And Storm, um, you, you know how you and I both complained that he should not be a CR-15? He should be higher. He's done things. I've done things. Okay. So, Roland, he's up next. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, real quick. What's that? I still have my movement, right? Uh, yes, you do. Um, I'm going to suggest we start moving. <laughs> okay. Yeah, like, can I just, like, grab Aki and just, like, football carry him, just starting going this way? Sure. Yes, I can send to this. Alright, I, I can't do any actions, I'm just running. Okay. So I use my action to, like, do the whole thing. Okay. And, uh, Dustus calls out, A forest of mountain! Mountain, fast. Okay! Yeah. <laughs> I just point to the guy who's attacking us and just point backwards. Well, I, I understand. Nice. Is Damon heading towards mountain or? Uh, uh, where, which way is mountain? Uh, is actually more. Uh, I'll, I'll draw it more. This direction. That's black and also on the GM layer. Fuck me. Yeah, because I don't. I don't know which way mountain is on our. Uh... No worries. Uh, I will draw it for you. Come on, thing. You just ping it. This way. Oh, I mean. Okay, so oh, the Empire will your head that way instead. Nope. Like, I really want to fight the big thing, but I know our party's not going to survive that fight. Alright. Uh, Vaughn. I'm you... just taking Aki with me. Like, okay. I can't pull Aki's token. Sure thing. Alright, now my turn. I'll just... Uh, no, it's, uh, st it's Roland's turn. Yeah. Roland has, this entire time, has been owning a, his arrow in a piece of paper, and knowing that this is going down now, he's, ah, fuck it, and he's just going to loose that arrow wrapped in, uh, paper as the arrow turns blue, and the paper burns away and erupts and turns into a lightning bolt. 
as I use my action to use the scroll of lightning bolt that I have. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure that was a scroll and... No, that was... Uh, I don't have a scroll for that, so I'm just going to cast lightning bolt. You can do that, too. Uh, the paper was just flavor text, I guess. So, I'm still hidden, correct? You are, so he has this disadvantage. Magical ambush. Which sucks, because he wrote a natural 17. Fuck me. Uh, My spell save is... 20. God damn it. Uh, that is a... 14. He fails. 86. I just you know, it's possible to get, like, 25 and think it's 15. That's the warning. Wait. Oh, man, I also got poopy heat damage. Oh, no. Oh, wait, no. I, I have the same problem, Dad. Damn it! <laughs> uh, 20... 27 points of lightning damage. 27, okay. That was my action. And I'm going to... Use my movements... To... Run over here... Anything else I want to do for my bonus action? Not just dash. Hold on a sec. Just want to make sure of one quick thing. Mm hmm. Are we in darkness? Uh, no, it is not darkness. Uh, there is okay. a a red light just kind of emits here. Gotcha. Just want to make sure because of the uh, armor. But keep track of that as you get deeper. Darkness might occur. In an action, the clip shadow, right? Yeah, cutting action, dash. And I'm going to dash. I'm just going to hunker over here. Close to Damon, but just. I want to make sure we're not too uh, yeah. Yeah. cluttered. Okay. Yeah, it's a good idea not to clump up when we're fighting guys who so. can throw fireballs and a fucking titan. Uh, as you move past that area, you do provoke an attack of opportunity, too, in fact. Fantastic. Uh, let me Do go. Do even have Sentinel? Uh, if not, I don't care. I don't think that's a thing imps have. Okay. Oh shit! I can move them to the map layer. Uh oh. There we go. They're fine. Have we actually fought imps in this game yet? I don't think so. I think oh, right on. in a uh, early early game with yeah, in uh, like, uh, city. Uh, yeah, the city. Yeah, oh, the city with the Glabrezu. Oh, okay, you did it. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hello, oh, hello, enemy. hello, darkness, my old friend. Uh, so that's going to be... Bu 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 a 16. Miss. And then the other one absolutely misses. Like, yeah! AC 20. They flip you off as you run by. Rolling Jobs, King's Token by the feet. Yeah. Alright, it's Orion's turn. And recognizing you, he's going to kind of scooch 30 feet away from cars. And attempt, oh, for sake. And attempt to hit you with erupting earth. Uh, he's going to attempt to hit me with erupting earth? No, he's going to attempt to hit Roland with a uh, third oh. level erupting earth. Hey guys, I think I should take counterspell one of these days. I mean, you're on all King Tricks, though. Uh, is he within range for me to counterspell? Uh, he moves 30 feet away from you. Uh, so, tech 
this is your spacing with him and Zoris aren't exactly accurate because you're in the air. But yeah, he, I know. I just I moved thirty feet up into the air, so he's just moving thirty feet like away. Yes. Like, but maintaining the same elevation, then he should still be within range for me to. The objective of his movement is to get out of range, so he would probably also change elevation. Okay, fair enough. So, Storm, do you want to take it? I, I don't have anything to count spell. You're an 18th level arcane trick still. 17th, and you're right. Thank you for the reminder. No, you're level... I want that spell. Oh, yeah, I am 18th. What the yeah. hell? I forget shit. In that case, uh, yes, your spells. I want it. Okay. That's, uh, what can I say throw? That is, uh, it's his casting spell. <laughs> what, what's uh, let me pull it up. Uh, immediately after a creature attacks you with a spell, you use your reaction to force a creature to make a saving throw with its spell casting ability modifier. But you all can trick to DC, I guess? Yes, 20. Okay. So it's a Christmas save. Yes. <laughs> That's literally 19. He fails the save. I take erupting off the next eight hours. So the earth cracks beneath you and then settle as he looks very fucking confused for a moment. Bastard. Uh, but on initial Your count... Beams, bitch. On initial count 20, the other imps from the other side that in hindsight should have gone attack with the opportunity but didn't jump out to attack... Uh, he looks down at him. He's like, "You were supposed to do that while they were stunned." Uh, <laughs> so one manages to harm the knoll on the left, and one gets a lucky hit on spit. How dare! But. It's just six points of damage on spit and he just like scratches at his chest and he's just like oh shame for you as he was holding his action for something like that and it's just going to let's see yeah even if he rolls minimum this thing it imps have 10 hit points it just it scratches him and he just grabs it by the skull and just crushes uh, oh the boy the other knoll they were both holding their actions. Yeah, they both managed to hit two, and uh, Nash is going to throw his spear. Also, yeah, these guys are just fucking obliterated as soon as they walk into the fight. Yeah, they had a bad day. Kaz, you're up. As you hear the sound of the Titan getting closer. Uh, I'm going to follow everyone else, um, but first I'm going to cast haste on myself to double my movement speed, uh, give me a boost AC, uh, and advantage on deck saves. Okay, I will give you these little speed lines to be like, hey, he's also fast. Uh, which means that my standard movement is now 60 feet uh, so I can book it out to here I just meow alrighty alright up next Aki alright I <laughs> also going to book it uh, but first I'm going to cast Hunger of Hadar. There's a smoke screen. Okay. Now let's see. Range on Hadar. Good use. Good use. It is 150 foot range. Yes. 
Did Paz get all the way over there? Uh, he cast haste on himself. Oh, damn. Cast Hunger of Hate right here. <laughs> well, actually, that's right on his spot. Alrighty. And with that, I am going to start running next to Cause. One, two, three, four, five, six, 30 feet. Here I am. So that's Magical Darkness. Green, and I'm running towards the mountain. Alrighty. Uh, Zoris, you're up. You can no longer see your uh, see Orion, but you do start hearing from behind you just this stomping. You turn and it's like there's this multi-headed snake kind of walking towards where you guys are. Yeah, it feels like there's a bigger problem now. <laughs> um, I think Zoris will just go along with the crew. Alrighty. Uh, I will. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, and he'll hold his action uh, till uh, to attack Orion if he can see. Alrighty, holding like charging up some like a kamehameha. Yeah, <laughs> sounds good. <laughs> All right, the. <clears throat> Knowles turns as they go into all fours and start booking it with you guys. So let's see. They're going to rush into a dash to join you guys. No, that's the fucking smoke. It's now former headmaster Yannon's turn as he also goes on all fours and attempts to run like the gnolls. <laughs> Please tell me this is something he learned in his time. He has to do it. <laughs> Cowards live forever. <laughs> We will oh light this. <laughs> Actually, how far did he get? Yeah, because that's a that's a distance. Uh, he's going to not dash, and hold his action for to cast slow. For if either the big fuck off monster or Orion make themselves visible. What the fuck? Why'd you open with that? Because he was out of... Oh, wait, no, that's 120 foot away. He absolutely could open with that. That's on me. No, wait, you're, you're smart. He just forgot. Oh, no, it's because... No, I know he can choose the targets. Yeah, no. No excuse. Just blame the character. Uh, let's see. What can you do, my guy? You are very short. But he took a mobile. All right, so the dwarf is attempting to run to catch up to the party. Oh, God. I forgot about him, actually. <laughs> you see him I would have grabbed him along with Aki. You see him running at the back of the pack like, I'm the fucking guide, assholes! <laughs> Fuck. I would have grabbed him with Aki. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we can say that he runs up to you, Damon, and just jumps and grabs onto your back like Yoda. Come on, let's master blast for this shit. He just kind of like, yeah, that my asshole. <laughs> no, we've come, we turn and face Typhon. Dude, fucking you can. Uh, I don't let him go. <laughs> He's my emotional support dwarf now. <laughs> Sorry, my emotional support Durgar. That's a lot better, but also fuck you. <laughs> uh, Spit's turn. Spit runs yeah, to fight you. Typhon. You're kidding me. Oh, yes, I am kidding. Spit's like, wait, what's next? 
Fuck that. I would that. join him. <laughs> it's like, fuck that. As Spit makes a run for it, too. Alright, Damon. You just gonna keep going? Keep on keeping on. Alright, we'll move you to the front of the pack with. Hit the door guard. One. I take pity on the feeble ass wizard and just drag him. <laughs> uh, now, I recognize that I technically am grouping you guys, but I. No, I'm gonna do this just as a means to show that you guys aren't clumped up. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's, it's, you said you already said that Sarah's not to scale. Yeah. Uh, so, Ron, I assume you're just keeping pace, but at a distance? Roland actually hesitates for a moment, wanting this guy dead. Oh! <sighs> Shit, never mind. Because I can see him with my mask, right? You can. You're, you and Aki both have the ability to see through magical darkness. I take my... I take a shot. Okay. Special eyes. Uh, he doesn't... And he can't see me, so this is advantage, right? That's true. You would get sneak attack on this. Uh, that is 27 to hit. Yeah, even with me realizing that his AC is not 15, he still can't cast shield for that. Okay, so here's all the uh, damage from that. Oh my god, that sounds nasty. Most of them are threes and twos. Oh, that's that's reassuring. But there's also like eleven thousand dice. Thirty-five point uh, thirty-five plus my dex, my damage bonus rather. Forty-four. Ooh. Plus nine to damage. I thought it was. Regardless. Oh, the bow itself is yeah. magic. That's right. Do you see that he's looking real fucking bad? Plus. Six points of cold damage. Still looking very bad. Yeah, he's out way outside the range of abscond, so I was going, I was going to try to use it creatively to pull his wing, but oof, that wouldn't work. Uh, so has that in its description. <laughs> so yeah, that's my action. All right, on his turn, well, I'm just okay. going to use my movement to, to fall behind, cutting action dash. Okay. Uh, let's see. Mm. It is his turn, yeah. and on the top of his turn, he takes damage, uh, because of Hunger of Hideout. Aki, go ahead and roll 2d6 cold damage. Six. All right. One, six. I'm going to roll his deck save, because he's not going to be able to make it fully out. Well, actually. All right. You got a five. Five acid damage. Yep. Or, or cold damage. Right, looking yeah, real yeah. fucking bad for him. Uh, he's going to. I'm just going, so, move, no, I'm just going to move this to the uh, map layer so I can get to the token. Uh, Mic working now? Yes. Yeah, you you mind working? What's up? I uh, think we've got him, guys. Let's turn around and fight him. Uh, he's going to burn his entire turn to try and to move out. So, so let's go ahead and call my helmet hot the fuck out of him. That's gonna be a twenty-one to hit. How do you want to do this? Yes. <laughs> uh, I <laughs> Zora is kind of like feeling himself right now. <laughs> uh, watching uh, at right as like Orion like walks out, he's gonna pretend like he wasn't charging that entire time and just flick his hand out, uh, and make him burst. <laughs> uh, from like a radiant shot like right to his chest. And just look away, right as he does it. <laughs> you blast him in the chest, and... It, like, goes right through his torso as he begins to fall. Just plummets. On the plus side, you guys leave Typhon a little snack behind. 
Is he falling in front of Roland or behind? Behind. Um, I was just gonna like j jump over him, just like. <laughs> and there was much rejoicing. <laughs> Huzzah! Uh. <laughs> so keeping this pace, you guys are able to. I would like everyone to roll me a group stealth check, just to try and avoid Typhon, because he's now on the hunt. That's without a trace. For uh, for the sake of this, we can say that we are out of initiative, but we're still... On. Am, am I able to use Path Without a Trace for this? Yes, I'm saying that we're out of initiative for the sake of spellcasting and anything anyone wants to do to assist on this. Okay. 40. Oh my god. <laughs> 18 plus 12 plus 10. Oof. <laughs> But that's a plus 10 to the roll because of Pass Without a Trace. Oh, yeah, Pass Without a Trace is up. Oh, fuck. Hold on. Don't make sure my math's right here. But no, I was trying to ask earlier if I could have attacked in my turn. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Yeah, no, everybody was talking. It's, it's, it's good, it's whatever. Sorry, dude. Uh, 47. What the fuck? Oh no, that's a line. Nineteen. Don't get some. And we have we have passed that trace, right? Yes. yes. Uh, so that is thirty-five. Uh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I stealth from the chip over every branch. <laughs> really kick up rocks. Okay, so. <clears throat> Yana's right there with you, kicking over every rock you can find. Okay. So as you make your way, the sound of the thunderous footsteps of Typhon stay right behind you and then slowly they veer towards the east until the f the footsteps are nothing but in the distance you have successfully evaded the attention of a titan all right and there was much rejoicing so that's a titan yep Hey, what, you, you guys don't have those around these around your parts, Roland? Demon, in case you forgot, I'm from the Prime Material Plane. The Titans uh -huh. were the first prisoners of Corsary. You, you know, so you have to really fuck up to have an entire dimension dedicated to holding you. That thing was so fucking scary. <laughs> Still want to fight it. But not today. Yeah, maybe on your own fucking time. No. Yes. Let's, let's focus on the task at hand. Who's hurt? Yeah, who's Damn fucked up the most? Okay. Hey, me, the one who couldn't move the entire fight. Alright. Uh, he's going to cast heal on you. Da. Thank you. So that's going to do... Let's see, because it's supposed to be halved. That's going to do 35 points of he uh, healing to you. How much? 35. 35, okay. Uh, drink my big potion of superior healing. I got spell slots I can still burn. D don't burn the resource. I put the I put the potion away. <laughs> I think that Kaz just backwashes the potion. <laughs> I just, I just like... Uh, <laughs> I'm still about, still over 30 down, but I should be okay for a bit. Yeah, I didn't realize you were a cleric. Well, no, have you asked? I assumed you were, like, a massive scout or something. I, I... Racist. Oh, what? Because I, because I'm a cleric means I can't be a master scout. I know, that's very stupid of me. It is. You're stupid. Uh, you know. 
being an expert on stealth myself, I just assumed you're someone with more of a stealthy preoccupation. That's fucking boring. You're stupid. Yeah, I also uh, hired you. And you're stupid. So you're going to tell your the man who hired you he's stupid. I. Okay, just want to make sure. I like you. Hey, no, it's, it's important to tell people you're they're stupid. Otherwise, they might die. They exactly. They're smart. Exactly. All right, so let's just keep. Uh, if you want to take a quick rest, now's the time, because. Wait, how much did we heal before? I forgot. Uh, he only healed Damon right then. Oh, okay. Uh, Lauren's going to take a healing potion then. Okay. Does anyone want healing spells? If not, we can keep moving. Um, I can use yeah. a bit of a boost, or I can take one of Spit's potions. Oh yeah, Spit, do you have a greater that I can borrow? Uh, let me check my inventory. Uh, yeah, I got... 18 graders on me. Yeah, I'm taking right. one. I'll take one too if you don't mind. Kind of get yeah. me over 200 at least. Absolutely. You see Nash pulls out his own supply of healing potions. And Giannis is like, uh, if, I, if you don't mind, I may, may I request a healing potion. Know that he's asking spit and not the gnolls. Like, uh, sure. Yeah, here, take a... Take a regular. Even Spitz mean to this guy. I mean, Spitz reading the room. <laughs> and we oh, heal half yes. everything, correct? Yes. Whatever you roll, just take half. Gotcha. <clears throat> this is the first, like, good roll I've had in a bit. So, what can we expect next? Well, from here, hold on. You see him kind of close his eyes for a bit, kind of mumbling to himself. He ha He's holding his hand in the air as so he kind of like, <clears throat> almost kind of like points in several directions. Like, okay, the shortcut to get to the next layer is that way through the mountains. Should take us a few hours, and then we can make our way that will get the second layer, uh, which is Catharis. The second layer. The shortcut that I know of is on the third layer. And that should get us straight to the, the sixth layer. Oh, wait. Have you seen a Etten and a crazy man pass by? Uh, yeah, actually. Wait, no. Wait. Let me double check something. Uh, no, I haven't. Right. Uh, the gnolls pick up like, and I didn't you say. Yeah. Yeah, we ran into one. Hello, I can Krieg. Didn't ask. Didn't ask. They were kind of in the middle of the warpath. Killed a couple of, uh, or Kakra, as we passed them in Minthris, the third layer. Was there a guy who sounds like Aki with them? Kind of, yeah. Talking about outstanding shit. Yeah, that's him. And what level were they on? We were passing them on the third layer. No, second. When was this? Uh, it's about two weeks ago. Okay, so they have at least a two week head start on the third layer. You say that the shortcut to the sixth is on the third layer? It is. That's what they don't know where it is. I mean, it's going to take them time to. They'll have to go through things the old-fashioned way. Uh, you have me. If you're beaten trying to race these guys, I can probably get you to the sixth layer at the same time. Maybe yeah. even ahead of them, if things go well. That would be a deal. Oh, well. Fingers crossed, then. Alright. <sighs> You guys want to keep curiosity, going? What kind of god do you worship? I want to expect most uh, holy figures to end up here. I worship Nanya. <laughs> eh. 
<laughs> that in, in character, Damon just starts going. Eh. <laughs> Oz also kind of ch- like chuckles at that, but it's kind of like, eh. and then he just kind of composes himself. <laughs> Who that Roland, one before? Have you? Roland and Storm. I was about to fall for it, guys. Before we started laughing. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> so Roland what? goes. I've I've never heard of that god. Who's Nanya? None your business. Ah fuck. Also, Josh, what's what's up? <laughs> I was gonna have Zorus do it with his negative two insight. <laughs> Roland's an old man who who's not hip. <laughs> None of your up. business. Well, fuck you. Again, I haven't asked you shit about why you're here, so I don't give a fuck. My business is my business. Your business is your business. Fair enough. What's important is our business don't fuck with each other. Can we be agreed on that? Well, we can agree on that. Good. Now, fucking follow me. I'm going to ask the fucking second layer before we call session. Good idea. Yeah, because I have to go to bed soon. <laughs> Alright, so. I scroll too far ahead. Okay. Surviving the encounter, you come to an entrance to an underground network of tunnels. Dust lights a torch and begins to lead you your way. You come across several points where the path splits, and each time Spit takes a moment, mutters to himself, before deciding on a path to take. Oh, you said Spit. Uh, dust? Spit, yes, Dust. Uh, dust kind of mutters to himself, so if, then eventually decides on a path. After about an hour of this, you, like just this rinse cycle repeat every like five minutes, you begin to get how easy people, easily people can get lost between layers. Eventually, you see a light at the end of the tunnel. As you emerge, uh, do I have a map for this? Oh, wow. Technically not the correct map, but it'll do. Uh, As you emerge from it, you come, you emerge at the top of a large mountain range. The sky above you is filled with planets, as it was before you entered the tunnels. But these planets seem further away now, and the scenery below the mountain has changed as well. Where once was swampland and marshland, you now see a, din- a dense, lush forest, and a vast and vast plains ahead of you. Congratulations, everyone. You have made it to Catharus, the second level of Corsary, the Scarlet Jungle. All right. Whee! And that's yeah. what we're going to call it tonight. And there was yeah. less recording. There was, there was indeed. Was... Thank you, <laughs> everyone. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for joining us today. I have been your Dungeon Master, Redbeast13. I've been joined by my wonderful players in no particular order. We have the Hawker Bridge playing Demon Laird. I can move again. We have Risky Red playing Aki Yakotska. Kodai. We have Josh Kaposh as Zoris Asphira. Hello. We have Storm Sage 13 as Roland Rift. I spell Storm, guys. Woo. And we have Walkman EXE as Castel Dran. Shadow Wizard Money Gang. We love <gasps> casted spells. Thank you, everyone, and we'll see you next time. Goodbye! Bye! Bye. Bye.